but the thing is, it's been band-aided a lot. That's what That's I'm saying. It has I like three. It. Got I, clay, I've got to deal got with the, the band-aids. <laughs> Here we go. Go for it. Ready? What's up, Fool Podcast? What's up, Fool Podcast? Welcome to the What's Up, Fool Podcast. We're live right now, I think, on YouTube.com, ATC. And if you're listening to right now, this is the What's Up, Fool Podcast. It's not Festival of Sports. It's not Blue Monday Podcast. <laughs> it's not the talk, not the Dollar Podcast. Not the Punch Drunk Love Podcast. It's the What's Up, Fool Podcast. So if you're here to um, look, look for Sam Tripoli, he's right outside the office right there right now. On a Razor scooter with Eddie Pepitone <laughs> filming some video, <laughs> and go watch that man. I think Pepitone, he wrote a he he, he wore a matching shirt for that scooter. <laughs> so that's gonna be lo- that's gonna look weird, man. To have a green th- like to nowadays, green. if you put a green shirt on, and if you're real famous, it might be an ocean. It probably put something on it. <laughs> it's a green screen, yeah. basically. <laughs> that was to Sarah Huckabee happened to her, bro. She wore a green dress. You know, it's over. <laughs> Man, I, I saw one and it made her look like a fucking pool table. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. A little bit with a jungle, bro. <laughs> and I'm playing starving kids. <laughs> Little kid. Huh? What's up, fool? What's we got up? Johnny Rocket here wearing the original. Oh yeah, Captain Save a Ho shirt, size small. Man, I get compliments on this shirt. I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> a lot of fist bumps, huh, from people? Yeah. We don't make that anymore. Man, yeah. Er, 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 Right now, um, everybody's doing the old app, the old um, the, the Face app. Right now, everybody's downloading it. A hundred million downloads already. Damn! And everyone's doing it, bro. Um, some of them look good, like Bush Escobar. Shout out to him and his son. <laughs> it looked like Bush Escobar and his dad. And then some of them look like weird, bro. Like you can't even tell they put a Face app. <laughs> 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 you know you, what? <laughs> I think Joey Coco deals with a good one. Oh yeah, he looked like oh. the wizard from uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings, huh? <laughs> God no, he looked like a fat ass Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the last he days, lives, little he brother. Lives. <laughs> I did one, bro, and um, <laughs> I was with a bunch of people at the show. I, I, the last show we did was in um, Houston. Houston, right? No, Chicago. <laughs> Chicago. Oh, we were yeah. at the, oh, the, God, the big man. theater last week. And uh, two shows. Uh, there were some people I took a photo with, and I made myself look younger than him. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a baby. Can dog. you tell? <laughs> I was going, as, what filter are you using, dog? <laughs> the Nivea filter. <laughs> <laughs> was, nobody uh, else was uh, young. No, nah, just this fool. Just That's you. me. Yeah, I like that app, man. I haven't tried it at all. Uh, you haven't? We have Eric Ramos here, man, author and creator of the his first book. Super Torta, a blue collar guy out of um, Riverside, California, who's written a kid's book inspired by himself, who actually he wrote this book in first grade or second grade. And um, let's talk about that, first of all. Seventh grade, I think S- it said, right? Your seventh grade? Yeah. yeah. Damn, bro, you, think, you, you drew that in seventh grade? Yeah, I have uh, the original book, which I couldn't find, but it's somewhere in my house. <laughs> but when, I was a, when you were a kid, did you ever um, create a book, a, a comic book? Yeah, I wrote like little things, drawing, drawings. But, you, but you never like in, like made your own comic book? I did like a flip book type of thing. Yeah, you? I did my own prayer book. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the priest kept it. It was so good, dog. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm messing around? I was a good-ass Catholic, dog. I, I, I think they published it without your consent. Uh, but I got like, like, two of this shit. Like, Everything. Jesus, little, stabbed. little hands, dude. Fucking him Jesus on the cross. Jesus getting stabbed. Uh, uh, well, crucified, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you know how they do it in Jerusalem, cocksucker. Hey, um, everything. Mother Teresa, dog. <laughs> St. Thomas. Yeah. I, I used to um, <laughs> I was an artist. I used to um, every I used to like yeah. um, on my on my books or whenever they had like a school book or whatever, my notebook. I used to always like get bored in class, bro. I used to draw like stick figures, bro, porn. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so when you when you put all the pages together, they look like they're running or climbing or, or yeah, rocket being They're running. They're running to the like gang bang. Fl- like a flip book, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took forever, bro. It's bad though. It's dude. like stop motion animation. Oh my almost. god, it yeah. took That's forever. Cool, and I was, when I was doing it, I was just doing it as a kid knew I'm not gonna be a cartoonist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time. But then I know that um, it's, it's a team of people doing it, bro. Not like one person. Going one by one, like what? Maybe Walt Disney did it that way. How the first one, the first Mickey. Old school. <laughs> no, like usually the yeah, he did it like that. He but, started in the shed. Yeah, but it's a team. But it, they're not all drawing every cell anymore. You just animate. You just draw a few images and then you animate them in. Software. Man, 
I used to be a, we, there was no library, right? Because I live in the projects, so there was Benjamin Franklin Library, but or you can go over there and get risk. You risk getting jumped by a Bridge Street gang, mm-hmm. gang, or Breed Street, or Third Street gang, or Tiny Boys, <laughs> or fuck, get gang. a little ass whipping on. There's no oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so like there were routes, bro, to go to the library. So um, I used to go to the library, man, and I, I never went to the library until I was in seventh grade, but um, it used to be a bookmobile, bro. Now, fool would show up with a little van, bro. Riff? Reading is fun. He would show up, <laughs> and um, there'd be a van, and then you could check out books out of the van, bro. Give me a hearty boy. <laughs> yeah, man. We were that van. Check like, out books out of the Oh, yeah, yeah the, the bookmobile. Yeah, yeah the, the, the van had a couch. But yeah, wait, this was like just a regular person? No, the, a part of the school oh, district. The school district. They'll yeah. come twice a year. <laughs> Some yeah. dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> call, oh, us came every other week. Yeah, we oh, turned that, we turned that book, bro. They were not for sale. Oh, yeah, they, they sold them to us, though. So, um,. We, 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 um, there was a book there, bro. I, I think I jacked it, but I'm not sure. Because what I did, um, I ripped the I ripped the cover off. You know, we put the little slip and walked out. So whatever. I don't, I don't know if I stole it, but I I, I, I <laughs> you acquired ch- it. Checked it out and brought it back. But there was a series of books about movies, and they'll give you like a little bit of the movie in the book. And I had and I had a certain fever, bro. And then like the corner pages, you flip it. And it was John Travolta dancing. Oh, I love those <laughs> kind of books that have that in the corner. That was rare. That was a long time ago. Yeah, man, I was like in second grade, yeah. dog. Ding, 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 ding. All little. So I was always drawing, bro. Yeah, so how, you were drawing as a little kid, bro? That's how it started, actually. I think. Uh, Why during... super torta, bro? Why not super taco or super menudo? Because <laughs> I've been super a torta pozole. lover since I was little, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I think um, Rodrigo totally more like a torta lover, bro. <laughs> Everybody remembers me like in mid, like when I was in elementary school. The three tortas of the little bombo that, that that's actually packing tortas for his field trip. That's that was me in middle school. I would do you that. Got three tortas? Yeah, at damn, some point. How long was that field trip, dog? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, I always ate one on the way to school. I'll, bro. Always expect <laughs> the worst. <laughs> but yeah, that's how, how that's how literally how why tortas and everybody kind of remembers me because of that obsession for tortas and the teacher. I remember one kid forgot his lunch. They asked me if I could give him a torta, I, and I said, you "Can have a bite, dog." I said, nah. I said no. <laughs> I said no. Uh, yeah, man. Damn. I said I only have three. There's only a poor man. kid, bro. Like we didn't bring lunch, bro. I remember this kid like. I, I looked at him and said, "Why you even come, man?" <laughs> I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from a humble like, family. That was that cost money. I was a little kid, bro. Like you're looking at me eat my, that's the worst lunch ever. By looking at me, man, why you even come, bro? Why you stay? Why you just, you just didn't even come to the field trip every night? <laughs> so you were waiting for the bus for the, our lunch to show up, you know? Our because we had our lunches that would come too, you know, like in the, from the classroom. Like whatever, whatever field trip we took in our school, our lunch followed. So there was like two lunch. There was so much money they were they were giving away again for the school district that there was actually lunch ladies that went to the showed up and gave us our lunch. And then, uh, but those kids, bro, they didn't have sandwiches. They didn't have a soda. That but, was me. Yeah, <laughs> that was always me. Why even come, man? Eh? <laughs> now somebody school. told me that, eh? Oh, really? <laughs> bro, we were hand. looking at the other budget. schools, bro, and it was like like schools with budgets, like the white schools. Because somehow, like, everybody from every school district will, will be at the L.A. Zoo or the museum, right? Oh. And then you start looking around, bro, and like, oh, wow, who are them? The rich kids, somebody always say. And they all have, they have matching shirts with their name <laughs> on it just in case they get lost. Like, they're never going to get, they're never going to lose Judy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she wearing a red t-shirt just like Keith and Kevin and Kelvin <laughs> and Jennifer. I'm right here, bro, bro. We're the only ones. Okay, don't lose your partner. We're holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you have to have the buddy system. The buddy system, man. Oh, this forgot to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you think I ever had that. <laughs> huh? I don't think I ever had a buddy system <laughs> in one of my field trips. No? No. no. What school did you go to? man. <laughs> in Norwalk. <laughs> yeah. So the outskirts of L.A. My back from Norwalk. Earlier you said Riverside. No, he uh, drove from Riverside. I drove, today. He drove from Riverside. Riverside. But yeah. he grew up in Norwalk. Yeah, good Norwalk or bad Norwalk? Uh, right by the one ways. Literally the... Norwalk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so is there a good part of Norwalk, There's bro? There's a good part yeah, of Norwalk. Yeah, it's called Norwalk. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Is Closer Norwalk to La Mirada. Norwalk mostly like yeah. suburban and rich. That's what I know so, Norwalk uh, as. No. It's I know like, Gracie yeah. lives in Norwalk and she has an RV in her front yard. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's where Chepo lives, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the gopher Dig, it's a green room. <laughs> <laughs> we don't say bad At least my neighborhood was. 
It's funny, man. Like people get mad at when you mention them. You should be glad they're mentioning. Them. Hell yeah, that's a shout the, the out. The worst man. is when nobody mentions you no more. Like you, you come to the podcast, nobody's talking about you. Damn, you're forgotten, bro. You're in the mist, in the abyss, right? Like there. Coco Gone forever. Disappear. Like Coco. <laughs> Some people never get it. I never seen the movie, but I want to go in fresh. No spoiler alert. I just found out. I, just found I out, haven't seen I, it. I just found out that song I was watching. I saw a video of a rabbit <laughs> with fucking ears, and I, and I didn't know that, that that was part of the Coco song. Well, where do I put my head? I don't know. No, I don't know. Put I thought, it on your head. Put I thought it was. I'm your amor. I'm your amor. Leo the Lop. I don't know. That's a little children's book. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah the, the song? One. Yeah, it the came with the song, but maybe he was singing it. Then he sang it on Coco. Then, huh? He sang a bunch of songs. Just yeah, somebody like, was saying it was from Coco, what? and we said, "Oh, we didn't know because we weren't. We didn't. We know. never saw it. So it's Lil' Lap, huh? So, so if that's what it is. It yeah, got Mother Goose over here with the, with the fucking. <laughs> well, he's, he's younger than <laughs> us, so maybe he had that. He had like something a decade else. older, dude. Do you remember the <laughs> the Winnie the Pooh? Um, Blustery day with the record that accompanied. I just know a little, a little rabbit puff it all up. Who piglet? The little rabbit man. The little of, one, dude. The, the little rabbit with a little, with a little suit, a little hat, little business hat. On Winnie the Pooh. I like to sing her. How about the moves? That's not Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, yeah, it's not Winnie You know what's up. That's Cherry Tunes, eh? The big T. But that's not Winnie the Pooh, though. That's chapter three, eh? So, but you saw produce your own book. Yeah, 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 exactly. Publish. I sat I sat on this idea for like six years, seven years. Honestly, I think it was one of those things where I kind of wasn't too confident in myself. I was just like, this is like too Mexican. <laughs> nobody's, gonna, <laughs> nobody's gonna be interested in this. This yeah. is like, yeah. But I think it, once I, you know, the media kind of speaks for itself, kind of people, all these channels started popping up and all these people like and on Instagram. And I was like, you know what? This is, this is nice. This is like, the, uh, the internet opened the floodgates to what people kind of, wanted to see on TV and yeah, books right. and stuff so you got like a good niche market oh thank you that and and again it, like I said it's one of those things where I kind of was like you know I'm just gonna take just do it this year and that's exactly what I started that's doing. funny you say that you thought it might be too Mexican because <laughs> it's I mean I'm not Mexican at all but being married to one uh, I know <laughs> but I know it, yeah, if you got condiments. No, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that. Like, <laughs> where's where's no, the fat lady I'm that just, made it? No, I'm just saying that. Uh, <laughs> the book is not oily, bro. No, he said. He said he was. No, he was. He said he was working. He scratch and sniff. Oh, yeah, right that'd be there, good. He said he was working on it, and he thought this might be too Mexican, right? But it's. I think it's Mexican American, and it's very American. Yeah, it's very but American. But it's. It fits. It's not Mexican at all. It's a Mexican American thing, and that's a hard thing to teach Hollywood and to teach, you know, like the book industry or whatever, you know, yeah. the publishing industry. But it's hard to teach people that there's a whole. It's different. It's in between. It's this in between culture, right? Yeah, that it, you're it, capturing. And it actually, <laughs> it, it, actually it all takes place here in uh, in LA. Yeah, and and parts of those areas are actually can I kind of infuse like real locations in downtown yeah. LA where I spent you know some of my time in college. Yeah. How'd you get there. um Gabriel Glass the permission for the legs? <laughs> 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 I, I take pictures with when you guys aren't looking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Super torta. What's your favorite torta? Faster than a speeding taco, more powerful What's than the chile torta? relleno. A cubana. A cubana. That's cubana that one? You're in medianoche, right? Media That's noche? your favorite No. No, my favorite torta yeah, is the my I can't say no more, but no, I can't even no more, but my favorite torta was the one from and um fucking um Okay, help me out here. Slice, like Slice, Slice in Silver Lake? Or no, no, here, no. right there at Pecan Street, at Pecan oh. Park. Murillo's, bro. Oh, Murillo's Market, Murillo's Torta. Shout out to Raul right here. He's probably listening. Murillo's Torta, just a basic mayonnaise, slice of Monterey, jack cheese, ham and cheese. Man, oh. just ha <laughs> torta de jamón. <laughs> Lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and a fucking jalapeno inside wrapped in a wax paper. They With always the, put the yellow. I'm sorry, go ahead. You're going to toast it or no? No, 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 hell no. You don't toast it? Isn't well, they're not even a toaster. They're late fucking changing her baby right now. <laughs> She's on the grill real quick. No, she had no, she had no toaster. They were already made, bro. Fresh? 
Fresh, they were just sitting wow. there on the counter, bro. That mayonnaise That's whack. soaking. Uh, it's good, man. An untoasted ham and cheese. And might just get it's a, a torta. Ham. It's a torta, man. Yeah, the bread's already good enough. Does it have beans on it, too? No, hell no. It's just mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. That's just ham, <laughs> cheese, tomato, <laughs> onion. Like a sandwich. You could, get that at, you could get that at a white deli. Like, <laughs> no, we, 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 we don't know any. Jewish any. deli. This yeah. is yeah. a Jewish deli. torta. We don't know. Yeah, but this guy also sold your beer and okay, cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes go, it a torta. He go, he, people will complain, man. What, what happened, bro? Mucho murió last night. It was nasty, bro. What happened, bro? There were a torta and the lady had to make me one and she was changing the baby on the side at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, so she put extra shit in it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she was not paying attention, you know? Yeah, man, it was, no, it was just a torta with... That's um, a ham and cheese sandwich. He would go mm. to the, the guy the guy up, up the street... Um, La Favorita and Soto, and buy all his p- pinchy bolillos in the morning, bro. Do you call them bolillos or yeah. bor- birote? I call them bolillos. Yeah. Uh, that's how I kind of... Birote know. is a pompadour. No, but other pompadour. people call them birote. Uh, who calls them birote? They fight about it. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 we call them birotes. But oh. I call it bolillos now you because bolillos I, when always. I go to the bakery, they that's say bolillos on, on the it. Ticket. Yeah. Um, a lot of <laughs> stuff that we call stuff, that is not the real name. Like conchas, that we conchas. What? what? They have other names? Pandusa? Yeah, yeah. Pandusa. I had no idea. Oh, well, Pandusa is yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. larger <laughs> category. So if it didn't have the sugar, let's not go to pan. Let's exactly. not go. Let's not go there no more. Pandusa, because we talked about it. That it's not really, it's not really sweet. It's not dulce uh, at all. There's the no dulce. You gotta find out the. It's like a layer. You gotta scrape it off. Yeah. But man, people <laughs> better. Bread. Man, people better stop right. breaking that <laughs> fucking. Bro, how do you feel about these idiots who are fucking? Who are the people that I'll are a disgruntled podcast listener? <laughs> 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 you want more Bill Burr? Anyway, so there was a. What, what do you think about these pan dulce, bro? The concha that are make, they're making the mixture big, and they're using that to make a torta. Oh, fucking gross! Yeah. Man. Man. I can't never. I I, I, <laughs> I don't support never. that. That's the quickest way to a diabetic. Bro, show. yeah, that should be his enemy, bro. Then they make them <laughs> fight against each other. That should be that should be super total enemy. He goes, what happened? We're, we're like we're both bread. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on them. Eh? You know, there's different types of tortas yeah. too. Don't forget the semitas in, in East LA. They're very popular what over ma- there. What makes it a semita versus a sesame torta? Is it just the sesame, the sesame seed, seed bread? Sesame seed. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And they used bro, to don't like talk about hogadas, bro. You, you yeah, don't like hogadas. <laughs> <don't like>, <laughs> you don't like hogadas, bro. Some Guadalajara shit right there. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like it all soaked, right? Like you I ate it one, uh, once in, uh, in Guadalajara. No, no, no. It's muy sabrosa. It's like for like half of that shit. How about the roast beef dog, dip? Dude. Tampoco, right? Roast beef dip? Thank That's you. all right. The French dip. You got to eat it fast. What's the, uh, the, the other one? Is that red sauce that it's soaked in? Yeah, the that one. yeah the pambasos. Pambasos. Yeah, yeah, where they grill them, too. And it's sweet. It's a little sweet, though, right? Yeah. And it gets a little crunchy because of the sugar in that. Yeah. Gonna, what are you going to grill it for? Pambaso <laughs> came around you know? in the late 90s in my neighborhood because in my neighborhood, we just had ceviche. We had burritos and tacos, and maybe a, somebody made a torta or a quesadilla. But then, like, more immigrants were coming, bro. Yeah. And then I went to Boyle Heights one time, right there. On, it was on Breed Street, across the street from Breed Street Elementary School, right before you get to Cesar Chavez, and there were, like, three trucks right there in the neighborhood. And one of them was Pambaso, the other one was Semilla, and the other one was something else that I never heard of. Yeah. It was, yeah. Oh, it was that, oh. There's all kinds of It was of like factors. a... It was like a... Different shapes and sizes. Waraches. Oh. See, I didn't even know what that was, dog. Oh, well, that's a sandwich, too? No. no I thought that was like sopes. That's like a long sope. Oh, is it? Okay. Everybody yeah. calls that different now. I was watching um, on IGTV, Instagram, and somebody put like... was was a warachi, but they put, they put the masa, whatever, right? But she put beans in it first, black beans, and Inside then laid... Inside, like a pupusa. Then laid it out flat, flat out. Yeah. F- and then fried it, and then at the al pastor, and then the other stuff on it. That's how they make that's, it over there off That's of how, uh, Is that from Oaxaca? Oh, they make it over there off of York and something, Huaracha Azteca. Yeah. That's really good. Huaracha Azteca, shout out to them. Sounds good. Check it out. Man. So, uh, tell... What made you fat, bro? <laughs> Everything, man. <laughs> Not stop man, How many calories were you putting in when dog, you were big, I'd be dog. like 2,500 a day. That's Easy. nothing, yeah. dog. That's so normal. That's basically, Easy. right? 2,500 no. plus? No. Well, what's normal? Well, no, no, no. Like, 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 like per meal. 2,500 per meal. If you want to maintain... Per meal. Per meal. Oh, my yeah, God. Oh, my God. No, if you want to maintain your weight, depending on your weight and height, now, depending on your height, if you want to maintain, you want to stay under like 2,000 calories per day. But you know, a Big I'm Mac, right. a Big Mac meal is like eleven hundred calories. I don't so. mess with that no more. 
Man, a I, Taco Bell burrito, bean and cheese burrito, 300 calories yeah. each one. I, I, I throw eight, ketchup eight. in my torta. How about Somebody your super crazy. torta, bro? How many calories <laughs> do you have? <laughs> it's got over like 5,000 easily. So don't consume yeah. it unless you're ready to, oh. you know. So were, you were a fat boy a when you were a kid? Yeah, yeah, the name Bombo. Bombo. Yeah, Pichy that's Bombo. actually what my mom's <laughs> I mean, little Bombo. <laughs> that's your mom's nickname. <laughs> that's his mom's nickname for him. There's a that's song funny, named Bombo, man. like Bombo, 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 Maraca. Like, and is this supposed to be like your fat walking me, um, sound or something? Ice Where's the mom and There's a video somewhere of me. <laughs> and fucking um, chubby kid. That's crazy. No. Boys in the hood, you just fat, you eat and shit. Oh, when he was a little kid. Dumb boy. Dumb boy, how'd it go? You saw how the mom, the mom telling him, "You fat, you eat." You no, know, he's all. You just like your daddy. You ain't gonna be shit or fuck. How did you? I can't remember. <laughs> you just saw, <laughs> I saw it last night. I can't remember. So um, how many? Are you in a book tour right now? Are you promoting your book? Where can, we, where can people find Super Torta? You guys can find it on supertortabook.com. I mean, it's right now. It's all online. Uh, I'm working on some local bookshops here in the area right now too get it in there so little by little yeah you know i'm not expecting everybody to come and buy this yeah. book at once buy know? all the book at once man <laughs> are you doing any reads uh, support any live reads to kids or anything yeah I'm, I'm really trying to get to some of the you know neighborhood pretty much la area yeah library i'm out there san gabriel valley san gabriel. east la yeah basically anywhere like where there's the raza our hentic <laughs> but the one thing it's like a lot of people are i even put made a video on on my website that explains what a torta is mm -hmm. because you know a lot of people have been asking me you know asian background you know why people have been asking me about what is they i mean they kind of know what a torta is but not exactly so you know i made a whole video about it about how tortas come in like people become in different shapes and sizes yeah, because sometimes you, you you Instagram torta and only the, the Spanish torta shows up and it's a cake. Yeah, exactly. Ah. So I think it's because of the Spanish people. Yeah, Una Spaniards. torta española. Una torta española. Eggs. It's like a quiche. Yeah. Did you talk already? I didn't. I just came back. But um, did you ask him already about how did, how you went through the process of publishing yourself or like how people can do this if they want, you know, have a book idea? Like, how did you do all this? A lot of it, honestly, <coughs> what I'm doing right now, a podcast podcast youtube videos so you got i mean it's kind of so, like get yourself started it mm -hmm. was one of those things where i'm um, working with like some publishers right now and copies just to get it officially published but you know the fact that they're saying you, that you're already in, on your own you know you're already running they don't need to pick you up from the ground i think that shows a lot of incentive from for a lot of people whatever it is that they're trying to get into you know i have, I have more ideas for books i want to keep writing and uh, i guess this is a good uh good example for people yeah, who want to start whatever it is that they're trying to do i mean I was, you know, everybody started in their own way, and that's, I'm, um, that's what I kind of want to inspire other kids to do, like use that imagination. Like, imagination is not just like, you know, oh wow, thought about moving around. It's actually, you know, figuring things out in life. You know, and a lot of like people come in like young, small neighborhoods. You know, sometimes we're like very limited by that, and that to me is what I'm preaching in this. Like, that imagination has can guide you through the corporate world, whether it is like just starting a small business or you know, making you know, your own product. Yeah, man. Seeing the bigger vision. What's up, fool? Alex the Large. Alex the Large, by the way. Um, shout out to him over there. He's fighting with Mega Man on on the chat room. <laughs> and never mind, keep trucha. I'm finna jack those beers. They have their own little world going on over there. The the What's Up Fool podcast chat fight over there. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, we, we have a guy named Alex the Large, and sometimes um, he makes packages for um. Um, underprivileged kids. He puts toothbrushes, coloring books. How much is your book? Uh, landed with free shipping right now. It's like around fifteen dollars. But make sure you guys use Torta Launch 2019. Where can they go buy it personally? Like if somebody wants to buy a bunch of them and put them in kids' bags for Christmas, because that's something that a lot of people do out here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ne never even thought of that. <laughs> to be honest with you, well, uh, stocking stuff for just, <laughs> just email me supertorta.book at gmail, and we can definitely work something out. Oh yeah. Hey, where's the Instagram, bro? My Instagram, supertorta.book. It's on Facebook, YouTube, little by little, getting up there. Shout out to Eric Ramos, people. Look out for you. You were at my show. I was. I, I was at your show. And the Spanish show, right? The Spanish in, show. In Comedy Store? In, Lo in Long, Long Beach. Beach. That's what I was Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, how was the show, bro? Did you like it? 
Oh man, it was. Did you understand? It, it was funny. Yeah, exactly. I did <laughs> yeah. understand it, and it was hey, funny. once I got in, the, in the, once I got comfortable, it was, I was funnier, man. Yeah, there was the one, the one people who kept kind of like trying to like you know fix your Spanish. I'm just like, dude, oh, chill, fuck chill out. out. Yeah, like, <laughs> I love it. Way. I'm gonna shoot fucking, a throw a firecracker at him yeah, next time. Right? Yeah, man. Show. Um, Alex DeLarge, he's a he's a he's a good guy in the community. He's always like he's always helping people out, man. And, and now he always subscribes a hundred people every week when he goes out to, to the Apple Store. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool? Thank you very much, man. I hope um you guys to go to work, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm still I'm still the blue collar guy. <laughs> blue collar author. So good, bro. Charles Bukowski had a job. He never quit. You still have a job, right? Nah, I, I no, you trim mustaches. Yeah, I, I do background work. I find shit to pick up on the road. You know, survive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, fool. Thank you, bro. We got Jacob Vargas right here. Thank you very oh, much. Shit. Oh, man. What's up, bro? What's up, fool? <laughs> what is happening? All right. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for having me, guys. Thank Again. you, man. Keep shining it up. So, thank, ladies thank and gentlemen, you. check out Super Did you guys Torta. Super Torta, people. Not to be mistaken by you guys. Thanks. Yeah, sorry. I should have brought more. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're kid. Nice. Yeah, the baby in the way, bro. First book. Awesome. <laughs> I already been reading to that fool. Cool. No, the one that's in the stomach. Yeah. You get to stomach. What? Yeah, just read out loud. <laughs> Play some Mozart, dog. What's up, Jacob Vargas? Beatbox on that stomach. <laughs> What's up, fool? What's, What's up, fool? Up, dog? How you been, huh? Bro, you're killing me, bro. What happened? Bro, you just you see, you see Mom, Momo Garcia's show? He was wearing a purple coat, a hat. No. What? Momo Garcia. Momo. Rodriguez? Momo. Oh, Mercedes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rodriguez. Like, Garcia, yeah. Yeah, Momo Rodriguez. Looking like Barney or what? Nah, <laughs> he, was wearing, he was looking good. Tall. But he was wearing them old school shoes that nobody wears, bro. Remember uh, the old school ones that have like um, a tips? I don't know. They're black with a little black thing. Al Capone used to wear them. They're, but shoes? they're nice. Mm-hmm. I forgot what kind of shoe. What kind of shoe was Momo Rodriguez wearing? The one that had the black tips. Uh, like those were wing guy. tips, but they kind of look like spats because they're spats. Wild. Yeah, wow. changing the game, dog. Changing that game, dog. I feel like Benny Mena, bro. Up, bro? <laughs> Benny Mena reading the book. Here, Benny. Too much stuff right here. Eh? Adding extra details. What do I sound like, Norman McDonald, bro? <laughs> it's like a yeah, he wrote a kids like, book. Like a yeah, yeah, torta yeah, superhero. Yeah, torta superhero. Okay. He just did it all himself and self-published. I, I thought it was like a, like a fat Latina chick. <laughs> I remember what we were all saying, bro. Don't <laughs> make fun of my sister, dog. No, bro, a fat Latina, Latina X. <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> Latina extra Latina extra X L. Extra. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fool, bro? Uh, what's up, brother? I remember, I, I don't know if I emailed you one time out of the blue, and I asked you if you knew Don Simpson. Don Simpson from uh, Simpson and Brockheimer. Yeah, okay. you, did, you, did, you worked with a movie with him, right? I did, yeah. Because I read the whole book. I don't know if you knew much about him. That book mm. is called Not um, really, bro, but I, I remember High Concept, right? High Concept. Right. It's great. Yeah, he, he and he and Jerry Bruckheimer had had their company did a bunch of these crazy yeah. like, films Top for Disney. Gun, right. Off to the Gentleman. Flash Dance. Flash Dance. They were the first one to put crazy ass music. Like a soundtrack that's gonna be like a number one hit right. with the movie. They were also the first. You have the no bl- right to ask me <laughs> how yeah. I feel. White Knight. They had the the first like black white cop movies or buddy cop movies. Yeah, you know, they, did, uh, bad bad boys. Boys. they did the bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys too. Bad boys was all them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did Crimson Tide uh, for them. Oh, with, with, uh, give him uh, some. Give him some. <laughs> Crimson Tide, bro. Crimson Tide. <laughs> Who's, who's in Crimson Tide? Crimson, Bond, Tide. Crimson Tide was Sean with Sean Denzel, Denzel, Denzel Washington and Crimson Gene Tide. Hackman. Gene Hackman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wrong one. yeah bro. Do? And uh, you know James Gandolfini. I mean, it had it had a uh, Viggo Mortensen. I mean, it was it was uh, it was you know great cast, man. Like, I saw that and movie, bro. It was badass. Yeah, it was like a submarine. Dude, I had like two lines or th- three lines, but I was on that thing for like three months. So uh, and sometimes we like get dressed up. I was playing a, a, a sonar man. And we'd get you know dressed up, and then all of a sudden, you know, I wouldn't work. I'd just be chilling, like in my trailer for like weeks. Collecting those fat I checks. Fat checks. <laughs> but that was, but that was when the checks were fat. You know, back then, bro, when you know when you, you can make a movie, it hits a hundred million dollars, and you just I remember like it for ten years, ten years ago or, or fifteen years ago, I was hanging out with Gabriel Iglesias, and then like he told me that you got one of your checks from Crimson Tide, uh-huh. and Gabriel <laughs> told me how much it was, and you were like, whoa. <laughs> like just they keep coming. Well, they the used residual. to come. I don't they, know. They used to come, bro. Uh, yeah, like, like I said, if you did a hundred million dollar movie, bro, you, you're getting like thousand dollar checks, like 
all the time. That, but that was back in the day. You got to stop talking about Snapchat, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Now, bro, uh, <laughs> my last residual check was like two dollars. She got small. Yeah, so it got it got small quick. Cause that was back when the DVD thing was big, and you know people were like renting people movies. Were DVDs, but that was yeah. before the Fire Stick came out. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. You, now you're yeah. not gonna get a dime, bro. Yeah. No, bro. I, I got a check for like what, like zero cents, bro. <laughs> Wow, it zero. <laughs> zero <laughs> cents. But it costs more to mail it. Yeah. I know. I, I, we I, got I, a few for like uh, three cents, fifteen cents. Yeah. Yeah. Cent. Yeah. So why yeah. even mail it, man? Put it. You know how like Seven Eleven, they got the little thing yeah. for the pennies. Just put it in there. <laughs> you know, they should, they should have that. <laughs> wow, three zero yeah. zero. Yeah, that's what zero. Henry Winkler was talking about with Happy Days checks because he said, yeah, they were fat in the beginning, and then he said then they were just like fifty cents here and there because it becomes cheaper as they sell it multiple times. Yeah. 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 I mean, I still don't know how that process yeah. works how they determine you know when your show was on or who saw it or, or how much it, I, I had no idea all i know is that we get these checks in the mail and <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. Not much right, like i would walk <laughs> into the honestly i'd walk into the bank with like a stack i like literally like a stack like this full of checks <laughs> you know and they'd add up to like 10 bucks <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to show. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> My yeah. wrist hurt yeah. from yeah. signing them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. They told you you're going to be a star. All right. I had to get a stamp. All right. Yeah. And sometimes you're like, but if you owe child support, you get more, bro. <laughs> no, no, if, you like, if you pay the child support already, like I pay my child support, like I don't owe nothing, right? But, you know, child support works slow, you know? Uh -huh. But uh, so they still might take, a check, might take money out from a check. I remember getting a Stack of checks, bro, for a dollar, seven bucks, six bucks. They were eight right. cents. Eight some cents, of those man. Like they right. took, they they're took like, oh, eight. sorry, we took it out of your check. I told oh, the counter, wow. want my five cents. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then they'll send it to you. <laughs> I like the way they fucking um, sent you the, the money right away as fast as they take it away. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But, and, but now, now we've got like direct deposit. Yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, it's just, just a. When you work cable, it's different, huh? You don't get that money like before, huh? Where? When you no, work cable? Or when I work cable? Um, bro, Netflix is nice, bro. No, no. So yeah. You yeah. <laughs> 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 like Sons of Anarchy. Well, well, FX, yeah, right? but Sons of Anarchy was, was FX, yeah. Um, yeah, bro, it, 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 it was okay. It was okay. But it, again, bro, I came in like season six. You know what I mean? So well, I like, thought your ass so was going to spin off too. I'm yeah. like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, well, so you don't have any history with the Mayans at this point? There's no crossover yet? I mean, with the you know, Mayans show? Nothing yet. That time you know, period? Nah, I, th I think they're, you know, they're, they're, they're keeping the two mythologies separate. Um, honestly, I don't know. You know, it, it'd be great to, to come on and be on that show. Because be, I'm a fan uh, of the uh, show. It would have like, been badass if he, yeah. he, he, um, Jacob's character was like one of those club that was overtaken by the sons of anarchy when they did the switch over uh -huh. you know like sometimes that they will go in to grab a little ass club you know like in real life a little ass club to have 10 but but they have a rival gang you know they're, they're rivaling against another gang so they fucking team up with sons of anarchy and they become <laughs> sons of anarchy right well, why don't you send them a script yeah <laughs> that, that what happened you should, you, should, Chris Sutter. you should text Chris Sutter yeah that what happened hey, this is my idea yeah. Yeah. But, but I feel like bro, if, if anybody from the sons would cross over it would be would be Montez because you know he's Mexican bro yeah. so yeah. so I think you know he'd be a great person to to, to to cross over but you know I don't know bro I'm you know right now I'm I'm, I'm doing other things and so but if if they call, I'm ready, bro. I, I still got my vest in my closet, so. <laughs> That's not a vest. You want to wear it. <laughs> Johnny wants to wear it. I got my M2 license. <laughs> right, bro, I, tr I charge 10 bucks an hour to, 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 wear, to wear the cut, bro. Where, 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 you where are you originally <laughs> from? Uh, bro, I was born in Michoacan. Michoacan? No. Yeah, Orale, Mexico, Michigan. Yeah, Michigan. <laughs> the, the Michigan of Me Mexico. Yeah, bro, I was born in Michoacan, uh, but then my, you know, we moved to California when I was like a year, year you know, a year and a half. Um, and with the, the day keeps changing, bro. My parents say, "No, you were one." I say, "No, you were two. No, you were one and a half. So I don't, I don't really know, uh, for, you know, for sure. But it was it was somewhere around there, bro. Somewhere before two years old. Well, uh, we we moved to uh, like Sun Valley, and then we moved to Pacoima, and we. That's why I like six. Jacob, bro. He ain't out there, bro, claiming that I'm a son of an immigrant. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Telling the whole world, like, I am an immigrant. Like, oh, he, yeah, told, he just told us, but he's not exploding it to the world, bro. Like some mm -hmm. people, like. 
So he's not people, exploiting it. Exploiting it yeah. and shit. Yeah. We know. Now we know. Yeah. Shit, I thought yeah. you were from Burbank, yeah. dog. Yeah. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so Spanish is your first language now? Uh, it, it was. It was. Now, now, oh, bro. Right. I, shit, I can't. Yeah. I can't. But as a kid, I can't speak my way out of a paper really? bag in Spanish. <laughs> but as a kid, <laughs> no, you learned. It's you terrible, bro. I, as a kid, I lost you, it all. As a kid, you had to fuck with both, huh? I did. First. Well, bro. Yeah. You got thrown into it. But when we were kids, man, we our first language was was Spanish. But 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 then we started going to school. And our, you know, bro, it was just a, 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 you know, messed up system where they would tell my parents, look, if you want your kids to succeed in this country, you gotta speak English. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, we said, all right, cool. Then we're not speaking Spanish anymore, and we just spoke English. It was a total immersion in right. school. No yeah, ESL. Completely. It was just because compl- you guys didn't have ESL at that. Hell no. When you no. Went, we, there we was didn't no get along ESL. with them. There were yeah. No, <laughs> no, bro. I, rem- I, I remember being in kindergarten, bro, and and one of my first memories was being in kindergarten and just playing with blocks. In the back because I didn't understand what the hell was you know was was going on yeah. what the teacher was saying. That's sad. Yeah, it's you know. So my teacher was uh, American, right, in kindergarten, and I remember just pretending I knew what she was saying. I guess. <laughs> right. Just but nodding. I was just like nodding. Right. <laughs> but I don't remember much of a memory. I just know that when it was, they had everybody stand up and go and do the ABCs. Mm-hmm. I stopped at T. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the rest, bro. All right. So I had to go back and sit down there. Okay. Oh. Boom. Right. Do you think that ESL you. is a do you think ESL is a crutch? Hell yeah, I think it slows you down. That it slows yeah, you, down you think so? I don't, I, I don't know. I think if, I, if like um, just for example, there's this basketball player. I don't know if he still plays. Is my no? I don't know. He started play. He came from Mexico, played and went to um school in in, in Ohio, I guess. Mm-hmm. But they try to put him in Spanish class. He goes, No, I'm gonna put me in American class. I want to learn English fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it does work if you go to another country and you want to learn that language. Total immersion is the way to go, and you don't know anything for a long time. But yeah, yeah bro, I, it's, yeah, hard. I, I, it's hard on the kids. It, it, but if you're older, bro, yeah, because my parents, if you're twelve, you gotta get ESL. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're bro, five, if you've four, been it, you don't need it for that long. If, if you've been speaking that language that long, it's 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 you're gonna fall way behind. Yeah. I remember kids in our class that would come from Mexico. And I remember dude, one kid had a mustache, bro. So he must have been like <laughs> 19. <laughs> yeah, bro. But he was like in third grade class because they had to put him back because he Aww. just couldn't, you know, he, he couldn't speak English. Yeah. So they just moved him to right. his level grade wise, yeah. even though he was, wow. Yeah. And then they don't get hooked up or they don't understand. They drop out and then fuck, yeah. you know, the rest it's of It's weird school. how in my high school, I don't have your high school. In my high school, all the ESL kids were also uh, in R- ROTC. ROTC? <laughs> mm. And they would take because bribes, bro. All right, because they, I would teach you. I would call them. What's up with the federal rallies over here, right? Right, right. right. <laughs> but yeah, man, the PG Sargentazo. <laughs> but um, the ESL in our school with a bunch of men, Latino kids from from Central America, El Salvador, and Mexico. But also there was like four Russian kids who didn't speak no fucking English right. at all, and they were and that was their crew, man. Like. Russian kids and those paisas, <laughs> all the uh, and all the, the outsiders and the Russians are speaking, are learning together. how to speak Spanish faster than English. Uh huh. Oh, because they're hanging out yeah. and just having casual right. conversation. Oh. Yeah, bro. I, I guess I, I guess the Im- immersion, I guess, make kind of makes sense. You know, because like my parents have been in this country for like forty something years and mm-hmm. and they still can't speak English. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's that's really really true, yeah. I guess because they, you know you surround yourself with people that speak. Spanish, you just never have get to get out that bubble. Yeah, get out yeah. of that bubble and, and out of that that comfort zone. Just like yeah. the people who, who live in New York, bro, like the Dominicans, they could survive the whole the whole life not ever learning English. <laughs> That's true, bro. Romeo Santos, man. <laughs> man. What's up? Oh, what's what? I thought you were. Yeah. Bo- but you, where did you grow up at then? I grew up in Pacoima. Pacoima. Yeah. Richie. Yeah, Richie, bro. I went to George Lopez. Yeah, George Lopez. Chichi. Cheech Marin, well, I guess Cheech was like more like Granada Hills, but it's, it's all the same. But in Danny Trejo, when, where were you like in the nineties, like ninety one? You were like in junior high, like high school. Nineties, bro. I was no, bro. I I already graduated high school. Wow, I was yeah. in rehab, bro. Okay, with a bunch. I was in rehab, bro, in a valley, in a right. fucking valley, were you right li- there by um, living like in a house. Hampton Dam. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah. but that, that's not that that's yeah. not far from a coin. There used to be a a, a live again recovery home. Shout out to Pastor. Jesse Higuera, <laughs> and that, that f- well, we were out there, bro, but then we moved to um, Sun Valley. No, not Sun Valley. We moved, yeah, Sun Valley. We moved to fucking um, Saugus. Saugus, okay. We were more people. And right. We used to see a lot of food from Pacoima come in there, bro. Pinchi tecatos, bro. Yeah. A lot of heroin in the neighborhood, bro. How did you escape all that shit? That's, that's, you got to know, man, there's Pacoima gang cholos, but there's also Pacoima crips. 
Yo, bro, and, and it blood was, too. Yeah, bro. man, yeah. like they were they were crazy, bro. These people had yeah. froze, bro. They were in my rehab, and they were like, oh, goes, "Wait a minute, man, you're from yeah. Pacoima, yeah. crib, yeah, cuz." And they go, "You're from Pacoima," and they were, "I don't know if you know the, this family in in uh, Pacoima, but we used to get a lot of them come in." Yeah. There was this dude that came in, bro. He had a big ass Pacoima pacas right here, and then his last name in the front, Serna. Uh-huh. And we got along because that was my mom's maiden name. Okay. No, I don't. I, don't, I didn't know those, those dudes. Um, but no, bro. I. I mean, I, like I said, I grew up. I grew up with uh, around a bunch of bloods actually, uh, around Vaughn Street. And so I remember, bro. I remember being a kid, dude. So our friends used to sell crack, you know, back in the day. So we, we'd go over and just kind of hang out with them. And while they're like, "Oh, hang on, bro," we'd be like, you know, hanging out. They go, oh, "Hang on, I'll be back in two minutes." They go, a "Car will pull up, bro." They sell some crack. That's old school. Come, come back, huh? old school, bro. And then they'd be like, "Yeah, let's." No houses, just running up to the car. Yeah, my, up to the car, bro. And we, I remember get, getting shot at, bro. You know, but. It didn't seem out of out of the ordinary. It just seemed like that. Normal, just, huh? That's just normal, bro. That's just life. I, I felt the way it was. That's how I felt, man. Like when I was living in the projects, like to the outside world, I was like, "What the fuck, trying to crack?" But it, to other, it was like an everyday job. Like yeah. I would get up in the morning, brush my teeth, <laughs> pick up my five rocks, try to sell them. Crack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, bro. But I was not like I was, I was like a nine to five. I was still, yeah. But then after a while, when there was more people selling crack, that's when I had to stay up late, late at night. <laughs> you had to find a new <laughs> shift. Huh? New shift, yeah. bro. Yeah. Four in the morning, bro. Selling <laughs> supply and demand, bro. You had to selling small pieces, yeah, bro. Yeah. You want big pieces, bro. You got to see Jacob at nine in the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, bro. But, but I never got involved with it, with that, bro. Like I luckily I I got into break dancing. It was everywhere, you know? though. Yeah, huh? oh, it was everywhere, bro. It was you everywhere. Got into break dancing? Yeah, I got into break dancing. So I, I, so I think, bro, I think with scarves. I Scarves on the legs <laughs> with the leg, yeah, with, with the leg with, with the bandanas. Fuck oh, yeah. oh with the leg warmers. I didn't go that far, bro. But I know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the we, we wore some bandanas around our ankles. You were good. And, yeah, oh, I was good. I was good, bro. Yeah, that, that's why I got into 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 acting. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. What was your crew name? Uh, Street Motion. Street Motion, man. Yeah, bro. We, we were like local celebrities <laughs> because we, uh, we, we did. Uh, uh, remember back in the day, bro? The uh, like Telemundo or Univision did a. Uh, a telethon every every Christmas called Navidad en el Barrio. Now, oh, you shit, remember that, bro? Yeah, yeah. the cops give away toys. Yeah, exactly, bro. That's what it was. And so, so we went and we uh, we did a you know breakdancing bit, and you know, everybody saw that, bro. Everybody was watching it. So, so we became like local celebrities, man. And uh, yeah, I'll say, hey, you see that dude from Navidad en el Barrio? <laughs> you know, and um, and we, tight, know, yeah, bro. So tight. everywhere we go, like people say, hey, breakdance, dance, you, you, you do this and that. And so this. You know, I, I got discovered breakdancing by 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 a manager, and uh, she became my my you know cool. my manager. Bro, she became yeah. a manager like when you wow. started wanting to act yeah. too, and that's yeah how yeah you yeah. My first into it? my my first gig ever was as a breakdancer on a on an episode of Different Strokes. Oh wow! What? Yeah. <laughs> right, right yeah. there by the gooch, huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is old. This is like you know. Like oh in in you know I guess uh, like Todd Bridges was already off the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know uh, Dana Plato was off the show. It was like he, he had the Sam. He, he had that little brother <laughs> Sam. He had the little country singer. Hey, Mr. Yeah. Dean. Yeah. You gotta take him, man. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because he was singing every episode. <laughs> he'd, he'd always have some kind yeah. of dance. So like in our episode, he he sang a song about like off the shoulder blouses. You know, because um, like they outlawed break dancing and, and off the shoulder blouses in in the school. And so we were like, that's weird. We, like picketing. Yeah, it is weird, right, bro? I love off the shoulder blouses. Yeah, <laughs> I remember it should never happen. Like, should, should never happen, bro. <laughs> I remember uh, kids were break dancing in my junior high school, and then like a big crowd would come in, and the, poli- the principal, the school police, would break it all up. Right. And then so we had to, so um, they stopped that, and then like we had to, instead, like they gave us a chance to put up a show and do this. Okay. And it was different. Like you gotta, it's different watching it from the sitting down, man. You gotta be in a yeah. circle. Yeah, you gotta be in a circle. But nobody likes, you know, being like watching a show. No, bro. man. I remember I, I did a show in in junior high, a play, and you know during like, remember nutrition when they had nutrition? Yeah. And so, it's, it's, yeah, so everybody would get like everybody get like free fruit and milk and whatever. So bro, we're, we're bro. doing our scene, bro. Hard ass grilled cheese. Yeah, but all of a sudden <laughs> I, I see apples flying at me, bro. I see oranges. <laughs> okay, cho- First time. Cars of chocolate milk, bro. Like they. They weren't having it. It was not a. We're, we're trying to do like, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to give them the some w- culture, bro. And then you they, they, they no didn't. star here. Nah. Oh, you just came Aren't you entertained? <laughs> yeah, are you entertained? Uh, yeah, obviously not. I went to Osorio Junior High School. There was a bunch of break dancers, bro. They were dressed like chi- like something. Some who were dressed like kung fu. Bro, oh yeah. Oh, bro, I had a, I had a kung fu suit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, let, let, let the motherfucker know how Yo, big bro. it was to dress up like Bruce Lee, bro. Yeah, bro. With little, chi- little Chinese shoes, 
You know, you wore those, those little shoes but with zero support, but yeah. it was flat as hell. Bro, your feet you, are hurting. You, you can't I, from I, the top I, of that I had nunchucks. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had ninja stars. I had, yeah, bro. We, yeah. We, we used to watch that Kung Fu Theater. Oh. Um, where did like, uh, Kung wait, Fu Week was, Channel was 5. Saturday? Yeah, so Channel 5? That was yeah. Channel 9, bro. Okay, Sundays. okay. Channel 5 would have Kung Fu Week, bro. Show them what the whack is. <laughs> it's funny, man. When you, as a kid, you yes, watch these touch. Kung Fu movies. And the next day, you try to do those moves, nothing but rip pants all over the school. <laughs> <laughs> you too, bro. Right, right. Yeah, dude. What, what was your favorite kung fu movie at the back in the oh, day? Oh, man. It was, well, Enter the Dragon, of course. But mm. then there was a lot of them that we saw on TV. Right. Fool, my favorite one, bro, was fucking Master of the Flying Guillotine. guillotine bro. Come on. <laughs> that, that was it, bro. Bro, we, we used to get an Oya. We used to get an Oya, bro, and a chain and then throw it. I should have fucked with I took a big one out of a basketball and a curtain and it didn't work. So I would, I, would just a, I would put like a lampshade on front of my brother's head and then just yank him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cause they had the the one armed guy. I'm looking the guy for the one armed bandit. Yeah, the one armed bandit, bro. <laughs> I That's keep taking crazy, me back, bro. man. Yeah, that was a, that was like that movie, The Master of the Flying Guillotine. The the first fight of that movie is like the pretty much the basis of every other fight movie you're gonna see in the future. Mortal Kombat. Because there was an Indian fool who had arms that grew. Remember? Oh right, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. They, they all had like their that weird like uh, you know magical. Like fighting power. And then there was a fool of the monkey, bro. And he was like the darkest character in the movie. <laughs> yeah, he, f- he, he fought the monkey style. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And then there was. I, I gotta rewatch that, man. And then there was a little. Uh, he got beat by the Asian girl that was a tiger. Okay. <laughs> right. And then there, there was a grasshopper. The grasshopper. Like that, the, the locust one. Yeah, yeah. Then, then there was a badass dude that he should have. He should have. He, he, he was like a, a, a Thai fighter, a Thai boxer. Uh-huh. He was going. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm lucky for that one arm <laughs> boxer. That's food, man. There's a part of the movie where the fool's eating a bunch of food, but he's hiding his arm, saying that he's mm-hmm. a one arm boxer. <laughs> then the fucking old man kills him right there in front of the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Just snatches, like, man, what a badass movie. Yeah, bro. And then after that, you, you go in the backyard and you start trying to practice all the moves. And <laughs> yeah. yeah bro, I got like my, one of my teeth chipped because my friend did a back kick and f- kicked me in the face. Damn. I remember laying in bed in a bunk bed. And then talk, 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 telling my brother, Adrian, I thought, man, I want to join Kung Fu classes. <laughs> and then I started hitting, started punching his oh, bed. Is that <laughs> like training? Right. <laughs> those, are my, those are my leg exercises, right. bro. My brother, Adrian, will be on the top bunk, and I'll be on the bottom yeah. bunk, and I'll be lifting him with my legs. The fool get all mad. <laughs> bro, how many, how many brothers you got? Six brothers, oh, one six sister. Brothers. So you, you guys all share one room? Damn, Hell bro, no. bro. This, same with me, bro. Four bedrooms. Bro, there, well, there were fi- five of us no. and one sister. Bro. We all shared one. one room. There's five and one with you. Yeah. You're six. Five and one. Yeah. So there were five boys yeah. and one. And, yeah, and, and my, my sister had her own room. No, no actually, no. My, my sister slept with my parents. And then we had all five of us boys shared one one bedroom. And then we had one room full of, like, maquinas de coser. You know, like uh, sewing machines. Because yeah. we, we, used we used to make women's clothing back in the day. Oh, my really? Mom. Your mom had her own little sweatshop. Yeah, yeah, man. Damn, you guys yeah. helped. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I, I used to sew women's clothing when I was in third grade. We did, like two, we had no, nice. we did two. We had no. So you AC. know how to sew. Right. <laughs> we had a mom. We never, my mom never taught her how to sew, but she had a sewing machine. The one, the the one, uh, the old school yeah, one. Yeah, with, 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 with the long ass pedal. Yeah, heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. the fuck they brought that shit in there? So that was your business. That was the office. That was the business. Yeah, the business. Yeah, we, and we, then we oh. five boys in a room. Yeah, we used to make women's clothing, and we'd go selling it at swap meets. Uh, yeah. And we, you guys we sold, sold the San Francisco swap meet. His bro, mom, his his the, mom made pillows. Life, bro, his right? mom yeah. made pillows and my forced them to <laughs> sell them in parking lots. We would go to the trash. We, we live by the by the <laughs> warehouses in the LA, right downtown LA. Yeah. So we would go. My mom knew where the they toy, had the toy factory. Toy factory, right? right which is yeah. all lofts now. But my mom knew where the tra- where, where they had. Cause she used to work at this Freedman bag company, and she just separated bags for these people. Okay, like it's different type of costales and shit all, all day long. So. She knew where they threw away um, synthetic cotton. The okay. stuffing. Stuffing. For the, okay. Stuffing Santa. for build a bear, yeah. all that shit. Right, okay. She also she all, she knew where she threw they threw away pillowcases that were like they were fabric. They were, they yeah. were fabric, but yeah. they were like the dye was bad. <laughs> threw it okay. away. So my mom would grab all that shit, take it home, and then to grab the cotton and stuff it with fucking cotton. She'd and then she'll sew pillows and my brother and I were the salesman, oh, bro. Right, okay. <laughs> right. We would go door to door signing those pillows. Oh, bro. really? Okay. How did that, how did that go? Good, man. Yeah. 
Oh, but then at one time, hating life. Yeah. Hate, hating life, because everybody knew us. Because yeah. it, it sucks <laughs> when you go door to door and your friend asks, you, listen, man, my mom don't want no pillow. <laughs> right. Listen, man. <laughs> I'm not Sweet here to talk to you, thing. dumbass. Right. Call your mom. Yeah, call your mom. <laughs> they don't have to, they don't have to fuck him up with a pillow right there <laughs> to show how, my, how it works. Right, right. Or sometimes I'll put the pillow in his head and punch him, bro. But now, were these, <laughs> were these pillows soft <laughs> to, to sleep or pillows like to for you, sleep, bro? For your, for your sofa. I only need like, a pillowcase. Like I only need a okay. pillowcase, and it's, you're on, bro. That's funny, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how many can I sign you up? But it was yeah. embarrassing, like when your when your friend asked, "Listen, man, how many times are we gonna tell you we don't want pillows?" Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro. But now, like those natural pillows are the big deal right now. Yeah, or like the you know, full of buckwheat or whatever. You, you know what I mean? What was the first movie you were in? Gonna ask uh, first movie I was in was uh, I did a, a movie called The Last Resort. I with, saw that uh, with Charles Grodin, and uh, it was it was it was it was one of those like really B movies. I thought it was The Last Resort with John Candy. No, no, no this, this is Charles Grodin, and we shot like on Catalina Island. It's supposed to be some kind of like paradise gone wrong, and uh, and it gets overtaken by like. By, by this, this militia, oh, wow. and, and that, like John Lovitz was in yeah. it. I mean, it had it had, it had like there a lot, were a lot of few of those resort movies where things go wrong. The right. one you're talking about is Club Paradise. Captain Ron. Yes. Club Paradise. Yeah, yeah. You're right? thinking about <laughs> Captain Ron. <laughs> 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 there the were the 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 a few similar. in the yeah. 80s, right? Like, yeah, and yeah. I, there were only like two kids in the whole movie. There were two of us, but it was like, bro, it was like people all lived like on this camp because it, yeah. uh, it was it was shot at a, at, a, at a summer camp for for kids on Catalina okay. Island, and so like. The, there was no place to house the, the yeah. cast and crew, so everybody stayed in like in these little cabins, and it was just like everybody was like having sex with each other and <laughs> having crazy parties, and you know, like yeah, you walk around, you see like you know condoms and just the beach. You know, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was it was total debauchery, man. Debauchery, so man. I know. Get into that. Yeah. <laughs> I I get it. You've I, been I, I, into that. <laughs> that was your life for many years. Yeah. I'm gonna name my son. What's your name? Debauchery. Debauchery. <laughs> Call him Debauch. Debauch. Call him Chachi. See. Uh, El Debauch. When I was in El Sereno, there was a breaking crew called Meridian Poppers. Meridian, Meridian Poppers. Poppers. Okay. And there was another black dude who was badass. They were BC Popper. rich. Okay. And um, there was another dude. And then there was um, I don't know. If you, you know, remember, <laughs> remember Southgate, that handyman. Southgate, there. oh, the, the guy, he, he was in crutches. the, he was he was in the breaking locker, movie. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. crutches. Mm, crutches, yeah, and he do like the, 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 the windmills on yeah. crutches. Yeah, he was in the breaking movies. Well, he was in, 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 in one of the, the crutches? Yeah. Because we yeah. met, wasn't him, um, big, wasn't him, we met that guy at the party. I can't remember his name. Not Bigaloo, but the oh, other one. Oh, uh, 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 Michael Chambers? Or, Michael uh, Chambers! Shab Shabadoo. Boogaloo Shrimp. No, Boogaloo Shrimp. Boogaloo Shrimp, that's who he Funny, bro, he just hit me up, man. He's he's coming out with like a documentary on his life and... And uh, and he's got like a doll show. too. He's got like a, a boogaloo shrimp breaking doll, and you know we're, we're gonna talk about maybe how we can collaborate and you know maybe you know do something together. Yeah, so, yeah, but he's, yeah, he's his like cardboard a again. Huge, yeah, dude. <laughs> he's, like, he's like a huge inspiration. You were mi familia. I was mi familia. Yeah, you were J Lo's husband. Yeah. In the, yeah. In the beginning of the movie. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, it, it, we were all like young. Good at role, bro. Dude, I, I, I thought, was like, who? <gasps> that was a great role, bro. Yeah, great at yeah. role for you. Yeah, bro. Well, I, I, I saw my dad, bro, when yeah, I saw you right bro, there, I, bro. I originally auditioned for the role of, of the young Edward James Olmos. Oh, um, only I play Olmos. Yeah, which, uh, <laughs> but but I guess, you know, um, Greg's like, look. You have smooth face, bro. It's a great role. Of, of the father <laughs> for, for, the, for the beginning. Thank you, bro. That's it's a, it's a Aztec. <laughs> the, the Aztec. Uh, Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody's saying you still look 21 on the, on the chat. Up. Oh, yeah? Yeah, everybody's saying you look 21. Oh, wow. Like, oh, yeah. this, this, this is being broadcast live? Is live, bro. Right now. Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Okay. And then it'll go back up on Friday. I would have told people to watch. That's all right. All right. People are asking all kinds of silly ass oh, questions. What everybody's saying? Road uh, dogs? What it? Oh, they're quoting his, a lot of his, his okay. lines. Okay. Though. When is the next debauchery party? <laughs> the next debauchery party. Damn, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm married with kids now, bro. <laughs> bro. I'd rather spend two hours at Home Depot than two hours at a club. <laughs> you know? And then the, the fool said, where's Suavecito from Mi Vida Loca? Oh, man. You're uh, in Mi Vida Loca. I was in Mi Vida Loca, yeah. yeah. The, the Suavecito truck. You're in the, America the, the Me, mini too, truck. Man. America Me, yeah. I played Eddie's, uh, little, Eddie's brother. Uh, little brother. In that. Little Joker, and Road uh, Dog? well, jo Joker was from next Friday. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. that's right. I'm yeah, I don't like closed she, doors around yeah, here. Yeah, no more closed doors. She was <laughs> funny. <laughs> money, yeah. pussy, pussy, right. money. <laughs> no, but, but the, you improved a lot of that shit, huh? Yeah, man. I could tell, bro. Like, <laughs> like, but if, if, like if I no show you wires, I show, I you made funny, that shit up because I know where Ice Cube could write that. Yeah, shit. no, but one day I'm gonna I'm gonna post the original script, and and because like there was 
you know, you know, none of that was written, man. And he was good, he wasn't he good. Was, but he wasn't written funny. He was written like just like basic a very, very scary basic and, scary yeah. you know you know neighbor dude. But uh, but I thought, dude, I I, cause I love the first Friday. Hilarious. I remember how funny it was. But I was like, dude, this is this guy should just like let loose and just be crazy, man, and just mm -hmm. you know, and just have like zero like filter and 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 you know. And so like, luckily, bro, I I went in for the audition and I just went crazy, bro. I went in the room and started ad libbing shit. And then the director Steve Carl was like, dude, you you were like one of the only dudes that came in and made him funny. Yeah. And so when we were on set, he's like, dude, just just go with it, man. Just any ideas you you, you have. Go with it. So I, so I was like, hey, man, um, how about I wear a thong? <laughs> and then and, and I have some boxing. And you know, and it was just crazy. And, and he was just like, yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Like the worst that can happen is we will cut it. You know, whatever. But, you know, but, uh, Doesn't make bro, it. But, but, but that was, I think that was great. But to, to allow somebody just the freedom, bro, to, to be free and to be creative. And, and I think that's when you get like magic. Hell yeah, bro. You stole that yeah, away, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah, it was they, 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 they can't be a part three without having you in it, bro. It'd be ridiculous. Yeah, no, bro. I, I, I mean, I talked to Ice Cube, bro. So I mean, he definitely said, you know, uh, Joker's coming back for the. For we the gotta talk to one. Tattoo, bro. Where's Tattoo yeah. one at? Yeah, Tattoo. Ta Does he have anything <laughs> to do with the writing? Tattoo was him on that three on three game. Uh huh. All right. Anyway, so that man, that was a good role, and um, somebody said I remember him him from Ernest Goes to Camp. <laughs> oh, bro, yeah, man. Oh, oh my god. god, that was one of my that was one of my favorite <laughs> movies too, bro. Yeah, man. And then they played, played uh, Butch to. Too cool. Grab Morgan. the ladder. Everybody's well, talking I, about Jarhead when, too. When, um, when, I was a, when I was a kid, I used to see a, another movie. Uh, there, was a, there, was a, there was another actor. I don't know if he's still acting anymore, but um, he was in um, Three O'Clock High. Three O'Clock High. Casey Shemosko? Yeah, him. Oh, oh, Casey Shemosko, yeah. Oh, okay. and then, then I saw you, and I thought, I thought that was you growing. Later on, later on <laughs> I didn't see him. You did. I was I, Casey Shemosko. I, I, I thought it was you, bro. bro. Jason Shemosko is like Irish, I know. bro. I know. <laughs> he's Polish, he's Irish. I think. He's or, yeah. that Mexican? No, Casey Polish Samos, Irish. The guy in Eight yeah, Men yeah, Out. Yeah, he's like Polish Irish. The guy in Eight Men Out. No, no, he, he's like he's Mexican. He's the one that gives. Which um, guy? He's okay, the one that gives Cheech. He's the one that gives Paul Rodriguez the lottery tickets in um, Born in Salé. And he plays Edward J's almost young role in American Me. Oh really? Oh well, no, no, no. That, that's uh, that's um, Panchito Gomez. Panchito Gomez. When yeah. I saw oh. American Bro, Me, Casey Shemaisko. Yeah, Panchito Gomez. Panchito when Gomez, I saw him, <laughs> and when I saw you together in American Me, I was like, Oh no! Okay. Two different guys. They're not yeah. brothers. Because he was also in Mi Vida Loca too. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, good. He that dude's good. He's a good actor, bro. bro. He was an also. He, he, he was a. Yeah, man. He's, he's, a, he's yeah. always a bully in a lot of movies. Like, he was in um, 3 O'clock High. He was I in... I um, remember him in 3 O'clock High. Who was he in The that? Bully. No, he wasn't The Bully. Not 3 O'Clock High. There was a movie where uh, the guy singing uh, Red Velvet or... Uh, the Blue Velvet. Or maybe it was called Bullies. I don't know. Man. Is he, know. Is, he, yeah, is he in politics now or what? Yeah, that, that's... Um, I don't know, bro. I, I saw him years ago in New York. And, and we, we hung out. We partied in New York for, for a bit. But that's the last time I saw him. Three o'clock high. I don't know what movie it was, okay. but he was in it. Okay. Because well. at the end of the movie, they weren't going to be. Like instant, instant interaction here. You can. They're at 315. Oh, 315. That's a different show. I rewind <laughs> 315, the moment of truth. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, that wasn't me. Tough turf. Yeah, yeah. Tough, <laughs> tough turf. Tough turf. That's what you're talking yeah, about. You're yeah, talking about James me, Bader. Bro. Yes. Okay, that's tough, tough turf. turf. When okay. he comes to a new neighborhood and it's Latino and he's a white kid, right, coming into the neighborhood. No, but but uh, he's not the main bully. The main bully is a white dude. All right. And tough bro, turf. But, but, right. I, but no, I did but work with yeah. with Casey Shemaisko though. Yeah. I, I did. I did a James Bader. Uh, movie of the week called uh, called uh, Boys Town, about about the Boys Town in uh, in Omaha, Nebraska. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was that was one of my my uh, my first projects as well. Is um uh, is uh, Mr. Iglesias? So you're in Mr. Iglesias now yes. on Netflix, and is that um your first comedy? Or is that your first like series, like sitcom? sitcom have you, you ever know, done I anything did like that before? A lot of pilots. Yeah, no, no, I did a sitcom in 2001, 2002 called Greetings from Tucson. Oh, that, oh, was, yeah. Peter that was Peter too. Peter okay. Peter were you gonna, were you playing yeah. the son? I played. I, I played the the uncle. The uncle. Okay. Yeah. So um, and that was fun, man. We shot, you know, twenty two episodes. We did a full season, um, and then you know we, we didn't get picked up for the second uh, season. But but where did it air at? It was yeah. fun. Dude. It was on WB, which is now the CW. Okay. Uh, back oh. in the day. But you know, bro, but we were right after like the Reba McIntyre show, man. So, and uh, you know, which was which Oof, was a, my daughter loves that total, show. But to the total different audience, <laughs> yeah. completely for, different for us, man. Yeah. So, 
And then they said, oh, you're not ho- holding on to her. To, oh, yeah, to, to her, her, audience. her audience. We're like, well, yeah. It's <laughs> okay. Total get rid of my show. top lip real quick. Right. So, um, but yeah, but that was my, my first sitcom. Uh, th- th- actually, this is only my second time doing, but I love it, but sitcoms are great, man. Was it hard mm-hmm. to shoot Mr. Iglesias? Did you have to work? Is it different from shooting for like a network or Netflix? Did you get to like, because I know like, I don't know what, I did a show, was, I'm not going to compare it to other shows, but did you have to bum rush all the shows all at once? Yeah. Or did you mm-hmm. take your time? Um, I mean, we we had a shoot, we had a schedule, so, oh, yeah. so, so we had to we had to do you know one a week, but then we got like breaks so okay. in, in between, so it wasn't it, it wasn't you know too crazy. So it wasn't like uh, yeah. when you w- do one, a f- one show a week. Yeah, like yeah. So we did yeah. So it, it was like yeah, a, a show a week, a show a week, and then we get like a two week break, and then we do another you know another three. I forgot what what, what the schedule was, but but it, it was you know it was a lot it, of people. It was a lot of work, bro. But it was a lot of it was great, bro. It. Yeah, man, it, dude. It was, but also, bro. What I loved about the sitcom. Was you get that that immediate reaction from the audience, man, and mm-hmm. that, that's you know, I, and that's one thing I got to give it up to Gabe, man. He 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 said, look, I want to do, I don't want to do a single cam. I want to, I want. He's he's so good in front of that audience, man. He's really he knows how well, to. Was a real life audience, bro. yeah. So well, I know that. Yeah, bro. I know, like I I hear a lot of people commenting like about a laugh track, like what did this, la-? bro? We don't have a laugh track. This is like a real audience sitting in the studio laughing to to the jokes, and and, and Gabe would be engaging with them in between. So they were just energized, but they were, you know, so they were just laughing and having a great time. So that, so that's what you you hear when you hear the laughter on on the show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so it's like actual people. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's a, and and you know, people just it's funny, bro. People Damn. people were already laughing before the punchline. You know, I mean, so that's that's how how much people were enjoying uh, the show. And he had a lot of his fans there too, as the audience, right? Yeah, like they. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, his he's got a lot such, of LA he's people. got such a, like a loyal. Uh, following and and you know his fans, man, his, his fans are great. Yeah, yeah. Is this have you 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 don't get cast much for comedy? Do you go do you go out a lot for comedy uh, <coughs> roles, or do people think of you for that? Or I, I just think it kind of goes in because you're good at I, it. I think it's people re- remember you, you know, by your last project. Yeah. So if you do, because you know, I I, like I, I, I did comedy. You're like I mean, action I did, and I, I did, you know, I did next that. Friday. I did I did read some Tucson, yeah. uh, but then after you know I did traffic. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was dramatic, yeah. and, and it won all these awards, and we won like a Screen Actors Guild award, and so people started you know, like casting you know, directors me as, start to think of right, you as, as, a as dramatic. As dramatic. Mm-hmm. It's funny, because even when 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 I was up for the role in in, in uh, Mr. Iglesias, you know, we still had to kind of prove to, to them that I can be funny, um, you know. So I had to do like a, I had to do a a, a, a um, uh, chemistry test with with uh, with, with Gabriel. You know, so the, the brush so, yeah. 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 so you have to hang around with Alfred Robles and call him Hefe all day? <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> see his hand tattoo. No, I mean, right, it, 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 hey, I don't want to do the cheeseburger. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm fool. I'm fool. <laughs> nah, bro. It, it was just me and Gabe, bro. It was just me, me, me and Gabe in the room with, with everybody else, bro. And, um,. What you do know? you do during a screen test? Because they're, they're looking at your yeah. chemistry to see how you guys far. look. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you never been, <laughs> well, you can cast as like a semi-regular and then you ease your way in that way. Yeah. But you don't, for, for you, well, the bro, full but audition you had a lot of process. You bro. Like, I, I always heard that you were doing a show and that you, you had a pilot. And yeah, you, we had you a pilot with Peter Morieta, me okay. and yeah. Dustin Ibarra. And, and we and pitched and one last year too and that almost So So what happened with the pilot? Well, they said no. It didn't go. To, it didn't go to shoot. It, oh, the didn't go script. To shoot. It went to script, but no shooting okay. on that one. And then this last one, same thing uh, that we pitched. Yeah, last but we're, year. Not, we're still with. Uh, we're still working with um, Ben Diesel's production company. Yeah, we're with one. Okay, race. Or they, they yeah. still want to work I with put us. You in, uh, I haven't put you in Fast and Furious Nine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I was doing one of them last night. Man. I know. Like, can, I, can I move? Can I come out under the car on a skateboard? Hey! How about if I'm not that fast? You got, you got that connect, bro. You got that Just in. be a mechanic, Yeah, bro. be the guy. I don't even have to stand up. I'll be under the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gone in 90 seconds. You, you, got, you got a blown radiator. I could be the yeah. guy that just goes back under the, under the car. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. I could write yeah, myself in, bro. He's, a, he's been on Superstore a few times because they like him. Like that guy likes him. But also but if you get but the whole audition process, like when you get the part, you know that you get the booking, and then they yeah. say we're going to do a screen test. Like if you're going to be a regular, a series regular, right? So then, how does the screen test go? Do they give you sides to do with them? Do they just want to yeah, talk, or how does that yeah, work? And they film a, you during this, right? Yeah. So it, it's a uh, yeah. They, they give you, yeah. They, they, they give you the sides. They give you the scene uh, to uh, to play, and then. But but then, you know then we just had to, you know we started uh, you know Im- Im- improvising really. yeah mm-hmm. um, just wanted to see how if if he throws something at you how 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 quick you can respond or are you gonna get stuck 
because um, you know, because Gabe liked, liked to improv a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, he liked, he liked to kind of change it up, especially one on uh, tape days. On live yeah. shows, that yeah, but that's the best because because the audience, you know, isn't really you know they hear it once and they they hear the joke, they get it. By the time you do it it's three, four fresh, times, bro, yeah. it gets yeah, it gets old. So he always liked to go, hey, bro, let's let's change it up, man. Let's uh, you know, let let's change this line, that line, bro. And, and they kept the audience, you know, constantly guessing. That would be tough, then, man. It was, it was great, bro. It was fun, man. I, I you know, I, I had a blast, bro. I, but he's so good at it, bro. You know, like you, you, you guys, are comedians, bro. You guys, you guys know how to how to come up with with stuff on the fly, you know, to to, to make it funny. I don't know about Rodrigo, bro. Could you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you got like that actor innate quality where it just comes out. Like watching you on the show, you're very like uh. you take away a lot of the. I other thought you only saw one episode. You know? <laughs> 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 if you got all that from one episode, one bro, episode, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my job, man. There you go. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm, I'm doing research here. Yeah. I think he ended up streaming the whole right. thing. He wrote season two already. Right. <laughs> Watch them backwards. I know, I know, I know like, Eric, 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 we rare wanted to be here, bro. He really wrote himself in for next season. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's I doing that on social media. He goes, media. I could be the good looking teacher, bro. There's already had one, bro. It's Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, That's your funny. character's like a horn dog or something, right? Like, what's Damn, that? Man. He, he is though. He's, he's just a very confident, ah, yeah. Yeah. He's a very confident guy. He's a big ruler, right? It's yeah. like yeah. he's been a player, but he doesn't know how to be a player I, I, I here think he in doesn't, this situation. He, he, doesn't, right? he doesn't understand that that in this environment, and you know, it, it, you can't do certain yeah. things. You know, you know, the, and, the, and, and the still those dudes, yeah. they, they, they got no game anymore, man. Right. The, the game has changed. The game has changed, and he just, and ha- you he don't just really hasn't changed. Yeah, you don't know how to approach it. Yeah, Mr. Cordado, man. What? Like all that, Mr. My, my sixth grade teacher, oh. all, yeah. all his cologne that he wore oh. were the one that t- kids gave him. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine going on a date and um, right. what you wearing? Who, who gave you this? Oh, my, my, some kid yeah. named Felipe Barza right. <laughs> to give me this English leather. It's like English your gifts. Leather. I you gave him karate, <laughs> Jacar Noir. <laughs> he wished it was Jacar Noir. Oh, he wished it was Jacar Noir, was it? No, bro. It was, it was brute. It was uh, brute. There you go, yeah. brute. Skin bracer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's old school. <laughs> it was just, that was a blue little. Okay. Blue or green, my dad. Right. Blue, that shit. Yeah. damn, Briantina. Then you have Aqua Jockey Velva. Club. Aqua Velva. Or, or with Old Spice. Jabra, wasn't it with a Jabra or something? I think no. that even that's a little fancy. Oh, really? Karate. Yeah. Jabra's fancy? You had cigar. Cigar. Damn. Cigar, cigar yeah, yeah, smelled yeah. good on you, though. Yeah. You had a certain... Well, like, is, is, that, is, that, is that what got you? It's, 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 in, a, a, it's, cigar. it's in a weird <laughs> bottle. looks like a stack of cigars. Bill Clinton's favorite. Louis XIII should just have his own cologne and call it OG Louis. <laughs> Formerly known yeah. as 202. <laughs> <laughs> the cologne is not what got it's me. I don't joking. even know how often you wore it. No. How many episodes so, so you got? So what got? I'm just curious. So what, what got you? What was it? So how, how did, how did well, the, I, this go? I thought he was cute. Yeah. And he was funny. <laughs> all right, all That's right, it. Go, all right. I, came, <laughs> I came out of a scene from Mean Street. <laughs> looking well, like you Michael. Look, <laughs> you looked a little like Richard Romanus. Okay. Who I Richard always, Romanus. And Robert Romanus, okay. who I've always liked. <laughs> Mr. Romanus. <laughs> What's up, fool? You guys shot 10 episodes? We shot 10 episodes, yeah. 10 episodes. That, that's what Netflix gives you now? FX, everybody depends. gives you 10 now. Season, right? Um, um, mm. you know, it, it depends, bro. I don't know, man. Like, I, I, mean, I, I don't know what they're what, doing, huh? How, how they, they, they calculate things, man. They got their own way of, of doing it. I want to know how they make money, though. That other show, Shrill, because mm. of subscriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Subscriptions? All over the world. Bro, they got, they got money to burn, right? bro. They got, they're yeah. just, yeah. they're printing money right now. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, right. yeah bro. And what, it, it was crazy. It's like, they don't really, I mean, I don't know. I guess they don't really rely on ratings or... Or anything like no, that. They, no, you know, I mean, they don't I, I, even want to tell people that. Yeah, they wouldn't tell Kevin Spacey what the ratings are. It's like a super house top secret yeah. thing. We're like, we're, we're like, we don't even know how we're doing. You know, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I, I kind of gauge it on like social media. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. we're, I mean we're getting That's a great response. That's the only way you can gauge it's, it. It's great yeah. response. Social media people are loving it. They, they watch all ten. They want more. Um, they want more right away, and you feel right. the pressure. Like, calm oh, down. we gotta, cu- right. yeah, we gotta come up with something now. When's the next? Well, don't watch them one in a row. Watch them one a week. How about that? Right. That's hard. That's <laughs> the <laughs> thing when Netflix can binge all that shit. Oh, man. Yeah. But I, I, I love that. Right? I love that 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 I have a choice of of. Okay. Yeah. I, I can watch it a week. I can watch the whole thing. And do you do you binge anything? I do. Yeah. What's your favorite thing that you binged or I'm, you're re- binging now? Well, well, the last thing you know, besides Mystery Glaciers, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the last thing oh. I, I I binged the uh, um, uh, When They See Us, which was which is oh okay oh yeah oh the yeah, miniseries yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. We, we binged that um, I don't you know I, I got kids man so like so it's hard to to watch Black Mirror like, like uh, see, I don't I don't watch Black Mirror bro you watch the yeah the first four episode. seasons oh man. my god yeah. <laughs> like I tried, I tried watching a few things. But then the kids walk in, and 
you know, and I got to pause it and I got to <laughs> stop. And then, you know, and then, and then it's hard to c- ever, ever come back from that. Like, I, <laughs> you know, maybe this should be super brain. torta, yeah, bro. super torta. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to think what, what the last thing Stranger we, things. we, we did was. Uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't seen the, the, the last season yet. No. Yeah, we're at, mm. I'm at five with my son, and he was out of town. We we binged a few, How and then it? he's we're still at two with him. Well, see, I kind of forgot what it's happened good. season two. Like, like it was so I, long. I feel, like, ago. I feel like I got rushed. The kids are to like watch twenty now, the right? Kids and are so, so old. and so now I'm like, I don't want to watch season three because I don't remember what happened in season two. So yeah. I feel like I got to go back to season two to watch. Watch like the last three. couple episodes. Yeah. What was it like, man, when you were shooting maybe La Loca in Echo Park? Was because that neighborhood was dangerous that back was crazy, then, bro. bro. Bro, yeah, it was man. a danger that neighborhood yeah, back then. That was man, <clears throat> bro. I remember cruising with with some of the homeboys just to do research, you know, because uh, Alice was like, "Hey, why don't you hang out with these guys?" <laughs> and uh, and we were cruising, bro. And all of a sudden, man, we, we we got hit up by some dudes in the car next to us, bro. And the dude pulled a gun out like that, bro. And all of a sudden, he was like, "Oh shit!" And we had to take off. And I was like, oh, I, think that's <laughs> the end. "I was like, that's the end of my research." <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I just wing it, bro. I think you know, you know I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try acting. Oh, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's full set of being it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna act. But hey, so uh, some of those actresses in that movie were not actresses, huh? No, bro. They, they were, were actually from Echo Park, huh? Yeah. Yeah, bro. But it's, but it's crazy. It's like now, you know, now they're all, you know, they're, they're all growing up. They have families, you know, like some are entrepreneurs, man. They're, they're, you know, they have their own, their own businesses or, you know, they're, they're doing their own thing. So they moved away from, from that life. The two actresses that were in the, the main role with you, were they actresses already? Yeah. Yeah, Sadie so Lopez, so Steady right? Lopez and 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 Angel Aviles were were uh, Mousy and Sad Girl. I follow them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So and so so Angel's now, you know, like a motivational speaker. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. she she has a big following, and she's all about like you know empowering women. Which I'm trying is to get great, her right? on the podcast, by the way. Yeah, yeah. and you know, and and but it's it's amazing the demand for this movie. Like th- they'll have screenings for this movie like all over the country because you know I get invited to to come out and and you know be a part of it and meet. And meet the uh, you know the public when, when we have these events, bro. So it's 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 great that these films still. I like love that. I remember resonate. doing a joke about it on stand up, bro. Oh, you do? I'm, I don't know. About what? About stage, jo- I goes, just uh, just saw me me be the loca, bro. That movie should be called um, Pocahontas. Eh? <laughs> 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 Cause that's just him. fucking the highness, eh? Yeah, bro. He's he's, <laughs> uh, he's, you, you, he's, you he's banging everybody. I didn't like the way they shot yeah. your ass, bro. <laughs> I want you yeah. to do the whole fucking movie, right. bro. Right? Fucking get shot by a hipster, want to buy coke? Bro, it's funny. You know who that hipster was that I'm I'm selling coke to uh, with? Um, what's that actor? Uh, Jason Lee. Jason. Lee. Yeah, so it's Jason Lee. Oh, was, Jason Lee was was an extra. My name is Journal. Like, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. So he went he went from Pro from, from from buying coke uh, from me <laughs> in Vida Loca to like talking to chipmunks. Yeah, that was before <laughs> Mallrats. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Still skating back then. Yeah. Bro. Right. Yeah, bro. He's in the hash pipe. Where'd you guys shoot me? Uh, my my familia, my family. We shot it in in L.A. Um, like somewhere in like uh, I don't remember, bro. It was uh, Presidente. Cause we shot when then we shot like somewhere in 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 Santa Clarita, I think. Cause we you know it was supposed to look like like old uh, Mexico, and then we actually shot in Mexico. We went uh, Jennifer and I went to to Michoacan. We went to the Morelia, and we shot in this little town called uh, Ocumichu. That's the, the beginning of of uh, of, the, of the movie when we. You know, when, when she like get, get, you know, gets caught in the river and mm-hmm. yeah. and, and loses a baby in, in the river and all that. So we, we, we shot that in Mexico. Yeah, I, I had a bad bout of diarrhea, bro, the whole time I was, <laughs> I was shooting there. Damn, bro, you really, really bad. You really got into the it was bad. Well, yeah. bro, we, 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 we landed in Morelia and they go, oh, you know, I, I just landed. They go, try, this is the best mole in, in the world. So try the mole. Mm. Bro, that was the worst. Oh. That, that was the worst decision ever, bro. Rodrigo, speaking, watch of, the speaking of the best mole in the world, I was watching a documentary on Al- Tacos al Pastor, uh-huh. and they mentioned this taco place in, in Mexico City, bro. I don't know if you went there. It's yeah. called El Huero. Mm-hmm. I've been El, to Tacos El Huero's Tacos, are they good? Are they, are they really that good? Yeah, they it's been around for 46 years, Really? Bro. What are they, mole tacos? Al Pastor. Al Pastor. Al Pastor, okay. Supposedly where it comes from is Mexico City. I didn't City. know uh-huh. that, um, you know, like, I thought, like, okay, say you, you go here to buy um, Tacos al Pastor, right, whatever, right, at, at um, King Taco. Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't know that everybody, this is a basic way to make al pastor, but then people add their own little twist. Right. They might add sugar or whatever. To yeah. The mix. Mm. See, I always thought al pastor mm. was when pork, you, when, right? When, when, you have it, when you have it on that big yeah. on that big stick and you carve it. But a lot of people don't don't make it like that. I guess there's different ways of making Some of people just make it. it and grill the yeah. meat like that and chop it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah bro, I've seen that one, bro. Because my right. mom makes it in like, in like one of those like crock pots. 
Yeah, which is basically just mm. a, a adobada, right? Adobada. Right. Mm, that's that's yeah. all it is. Too, man. Another one, yeah. just that little constant swirl. What were your favorite taco place growing up? Um, bro, I mean, in, in, in the hood, we used to have just these little tacos, but nothing really major, bro. Like, but my, my mom always made good tacos, man. So, so, so she makes that great, like, tacos de lengua. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, so so th those were one of my favorite that my mom uh my mom makes um my mom used to make those but i never liked that shit bro because i used to always like we used to go with her to buy it and I'd see that long ass tongue yeah and i remember <laughs> watching all the goosebumps on it right uh, yeah bro my mom changed it up bro. in the beginning she used to just put the whole damn thing in bro so you get i've had yeah. You get, and yeah you get all the texture and you're like oh damn but now bro she cleans, peel that she, shit she, cleans, yeah. she, she modernized it a little bit and then yeah. you can yeah. do it a little too much where you like you steam it too much and it's too like Gamey. too soggy and too soggy yeah. dog it right. has to be made yeah, right be like a, the, the perfect yeah. texture you know um that, that's, <laughs> you, you, you cannot have a lengua burrito though it has to be a taco man i oh, trip dude, out with bro, bro, bro. lengua burrito is dope bro. i trip out on people <laughs> bro, bro. I, I, like, oh I, I, I like a lengua burrito when i was at, on salinas i went to go buy a soda and there was a guy there ordering a lengua burrito he goes, let's chill in my sour cream. That's gross. They get too oh, wet, oh, though. Yeah. Oh, man. man. Well, oh, you mean like <laughs> you mean like when you add rice and beans on yeah, it? Yeah, no, no, no. No, no, no. You got to you gotta, you gotta, be plain, right? Yeah, you just got to be plain, but but in like, in like, salsa. In like a burrito. Salsa, salsa better yeah. than flour tortilla. tortilla, yeah. Well, that fool had yeah. it with lettuce. He had it with... Yeah, no, no. Rice, beans, nah, lechuga, bro. tomato, and, and sour cream. And that kid put some fries in it, though. Yeah, no, nah, bro. No, no, no. We got to keep it real. How dare you? What's up, fool? This next week. July 26th, I'm coming to South Juarita Desert Diamond Casino, Tucson, Arizona. Pasadena, July 28th, I'm doing an all Spanish show. Ese show va a estar todo en español, eh? Si vas para oír en inglés, te vas a perder mucha feria. <laughs> San Diego, July 29th, all Spanish show at the Comedy Palace. That's right, the original Greek Palace. I'll be there doing a Spanish show. Also, Silmar, July. 30th, 30th. I'm gonna more. do the Spanish, Spanish show so. okay. and um, Casa Torres. Oh, Casa Torres, yeah. World bro, famous yeah. flour tortillas. That shit's good. Yeah. Eh? You could ask for butter, they'll give it to you. Does it, <laughs> yeah. does it have a lot of quinceañeras too, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Kill yeah. Lee, so Texas. And you're practicing killing me. Spanish shows. So. August 1st okay. through the 3rd, twice as funny comedy club. Go tell twice of your people. Killeen, <laughs> Texas. I think they passed out one flyer, man. <laughs> <laughs> tell so. everybody who. Kayleen. Everybody Texas. in Fort Hood. Yeah, to show tell up. Fort Hood. Uh, all you people who Where know people Kayleen, at Fort Hood. It's an hour it's right away from Austin. Yeah. An hour it's, away, okay. And it's like 30 minutes away from. Um, where they had the shooting at uh, Waco. 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 Waco, okay. Near Waco. Okay. Naples, Florida, August 9th through 11. Man, this guy passed out uh, flyers everywhere where nobody wants to go see me. <laughs> August 9th through 11, <laughs> Off the Hook Comedy Club. Captain Brian, man. This guy is the only guy we know that wants to, people to call him Captain Brian. He's like the maestro on Seinfeld. This, he wants to be called Captain this Brian. This started his aye business. Aye, aye, he bought one <laughs> boat, took people fishing, and then bought a restaurant with that money. Um, also, August, I'm coming to San Jose, McAllen, Texas, Lubbock, Philadelphia. I'm coming to Helium's. All dates and tickets at FelipeWorld.com slash tour. Rodrigo has a hot show coming yeah, up. Yeah, if you guys, for those of you guys listening live, tomorrow, Thursday, at the Lincoln House Comedy Club in Covina with Paul Antonio and them. Uh, August 13th, Viva Los Jokes in Spanish in Riverside. Life with Art Felipe Center. again. Yeah, also, man. Yeah. Bro, how's, how's Johnny Rookie will be jogging through Echo Park and Dr. <laughs> Stadium. <laughs> doing push ups. Doing five. <laughs> August 5 through 11. Mr. Iglesias. How's, yes. how's the Spanish going? Like, how's the Spanish shows? Like, how, how, like, like, do you think like the jokes translate? Yeah, they well do. In, they in do. Spanish, that, they yeah. do here so far because most of the people here who are American Mexicans, they, they understand it, man. What, okay. what we're noticing though, because he's be doing their parents. Their, yeah, he, they're bringing mm. their parents. Okay, they're, they're fans of his who who also speak Spanish, but they're bringing their parents and being like, "This is my favorite comedian." Okay, you know? and so That's they're cool. able to bridge that connection. Yeah, so cool. we were in San Di we were in Long Beach, and it was like um, you could tell that this guy never goes out with mom and dad. If, if they go out, if this. they go out, it's just barbecue, barbecue, yeah. family's house. Mm -hmm. So this fool, like, he could tell he was super happy with it with his wife, his sister was there, his mom, his old ass dad. <laughs> and then when they were talking, they were they, they were taking they were taking photos and talking. 
He went to go 7 Eleven and bought a 12 pack. Dad girl. did. <laughs> he yeah. didn't want the night to end. He didn't want the yeah. night to end. They yeah. want to go yeah. home and talk about it. This you was know? a Tuesday night. A Tuesday <laughs> fucking night, bro. Oh, wow. <laughs> they were, there were like 200 people there. It was That's funny. Cool. Bro, it the was fucking uh, Cholo were crazy that night, bro. <laughs> yeah. Welcome oh, to LBC. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool. That's though, cool, to see though. So, with so, their so, so you're, you're bridging yeah. generational gaps, bro. Yeah, and it's. So that's. But this Some is probably amazing. this is like people that wouldn't go watch a uh, a Mexican comedian from Mexico. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It's a difference. So it's like the, it's like a new thing for them here. Right. Yeah. I, I think it's great, bro. They I loved it, bro. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, he's Anoche con el muchacho dijo, duerme contigo, pero no hacemos el sexo. Dijo, okay, mañana hagamos almuerzo. Tú no comes. Hey, watch out. You speak Spanish too, though. Yeah, well, my, my first language was, was Spanish, bro. Bro, when they I'm going, I, I understand it a lot more now. Like, like I speak it, bro, but it's very pocho. You know, so like, so, 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 so people look at me like, bro, you gotta, I, I, I'll, I'll say shit wrong, like, like. Do what me and Gabriel do, bro. Every time you don't know, we'll just laugh. Just laugh? <laughs> just laugh and sit smile, bro. I see yes. I see yes. But yeah, yours was more pocho when you started yeah. doing this, because he's, he's doing a Spanish and an English special for Netflix okay. in the fall. But the Spanish one, he when he got started, his Spanish was more rough. It was, yeah. he was oh. saying wrong words and. Yeah, bro, like whenever I do. Like the red carpets, and then yeah. you know they go. You know you're doing the red carpet, and all of a sudden, oh, la suerte del mundo aquí. <laughs> and I, bro, I'm like, oh, I'll start sweating. You know, and I'll be like, oh, dude, I'm gonna fuck it up. I'm gonna mess it. I'm gonna mess it up, man. Have you done that? Yeah, you can do, yeah, I talk yeah. fast, bro. I you talk did, fucking bro. fast, yeah, dude. But but then all of a sudden, man, like you can tell that they, they you know they start looking at you and. You, and then they kind of, you know, they give you yeah. that, like, oh, this Disappointment. Sucks, bro. <laughs> Disappointed, bro. And then they're like, and then they kind of nod. And they go, okay, gracias. <laughs> yeah, bro. But then, now, now you know you just blew it. Ingles con papel. Right? <laughs> when they killed you in traffic, bro, it was sad. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, bro, you, know it, you know what it felt like? Glad I had that effect it on It felt you. like watching that homie die in Godfather, bro, when yeah. he was begging for another chance. Hey, Michael, can you mm-hmm. take me out for old time's sake? <laughs> All right. Yeah, hey, bro. Pagoda. That's the what right, I and, felt, and, bro, because you felt like, you know, Cause I, I see you, he was your friend, you know, in the movie. But the way you looked at him, bro, you, you gave him a look yeah. like only a, an actor can do it, you know. Like I messed up. I bro. messed up. Yeah, we, I, I messed we, up. We, we, we could go back, right? But then he gave you a look like you can't go back, right? Yeah, yeah, bro. And, and my boy Emilio Rivera t- t- took me out. Yeah, man. Too, bro, then so. um, how would they like to work with Nisa the Toro? Amazing, man, dude. I, as, as as an actor, bro, he's an actor's actor, man. Like, for I reals? Think, yeah, bro. I just love watching. Like the Nero and shit? Just watching mm-hmm. his process, bro. Yeah, man. He gets into and, it. And he gets into it, bro. But also, like, like what I loved about him is that you never knew what, what you were going to get. Like, he just, he didn't give you the same thing mm-hmm. twice. You know, like, everything was different. And, bro, what I learned a valuable lesson bro, with him was, because, you know, as, when you're starting out, bro, you want lines. You want as many lines as you can get. Not me. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, bro, well. <laughs> Wait, well, originally, bro, there's a ton of stuff. All is written like him, 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 and he's like, dude, I don't want to say that. I shouldn't say that. He's like, you know, you can give it to Jacob. Give that, give, give, you know, oh, give that away. Oh, he gave you some of his so, lines. Oh, yeah, you're you know, just you know, like yeah. quite a bit. <laughs> but, but I learned because he's like, look, he's like, film is a visual medium, so you don't, you, 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 why say it when you can show it, you know? So sometimes you can just, you know, say it with a look, you know, with with with. The least amount of lines possible, and that's mm-hmm. and that's what was going to be more effective instead of someone just like you know talking, 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 t- talking. So so now, bro, like I even now, like I try to to look at, at at a role and see like how can I how can I convey you know this without having to say so much. Yeah, you know, like that like, like that scene when you guys see Cheech all beat up with Salma Hayek, and. Um, I think it's Cheech. Is it Cheech? Somebody has plastic surgery. It looks like Cheech, bro. It's not Cheech. It's not Cheech. Nah. Fuck, yeah. game. In traffic? Yeah, because there's a guy with plastic <laughs> surgery. Yeah, there was. That's what's yeah, going yeah, on. Guy, yeah. My bad, eh? So maybe. I thought it was someone high against Cheech. If, if it was Cheech, cousin, I'd feel eh? bad, bro. Cause I, what a fuck, game. Eh? Right. But, but the way your character was, like, you, your character was like, too excited to know who that was. Right. And right away, I knew right away this fool's gonna die. Right. <laughs> you know, but he's too excited, bro. Oh, he's bro, not he's calm a, and bro, he, he he's was, not coming to collect. That's a, that's a major cartel. This fool just said out loud who he is. You don't want nobody yeah. to know who he is. Yeah, yeah. bro, he's an opportunist, bro. He, you yeah. know, he, you're he, hungry, he, he, was, he was trying to make it. You'll throw that fool under the bus yeah. if you had to. You know, bro, and th- there were scenes that, w- that we didn't shoot in the movie, bro, that I really liked f- for my character, bro. One was like they, th- that they go to the US side. And they go to like a Costco, and they're looking at like all like you know, cause the wife's complaining like, yeah. oh, our fridge is broken, it's not. And they're at a, like a Costco, and they see like, bro, like rows and rows of like food and you know and like appliances, and knowing like, dude, like 
I can't afford you know any of this, man. Even though I'm like I'm a, I'm a cop, you know. So like so I think that really showed like you know that that he's how easily corruptible someone <laughs> yeah. can be too. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. and, Desperation and, and too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, you guys are just you know trying to make a living, bro. And you don't you know these cops don't make shit up. Don't make shit over there, bro. So that's why the the moridas and you know that's like that's like you know part of their income. Because, mm -hmm. you know, they they, they, they got to make expected. it work. expected. Those bribes are expected on the street. I like how, yeah. how scandalous your, role, your part was that even though after you're dead, you still, you still, ask, you still, you still, still ask for a favor, right? <laughs> tell my wife I die honorably. Oh, yeah, tell <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the truth, dog. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and she knew you was lying. Eh? <laughs> este pinche right. carajo mentiroso. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You were a, a great interview, bro. You're good. Hey, thank you, bro. It was I fun having you, man. Let's have you back. Oh, is it over? Is, is that how you guys just... <laughs> <laughs> you guys just... <laughs> no, it was like Bro, because the, the last guy left, he, he looked like... like Still hurt. wanted to stay. He was, like, he was like, what? That's it? Yeah, I, I gotta go? Work, no, he, he, he had to go back to work. He's still published out of it. He's gonna get Jacob to read the torta, eh? The torta. He read a kid's book. Super torta. How old are your kids? Uh, Well, my daughter will be 15 and 8. Did you have another one older? No, bro. I think an no, no, an no. The girl. oldest is fifteen. I mean, she'll, she'll be fifteen in in uh, in S September eleventh. An eight year old might yeah. like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can, can, can yeah, I take this? Can yeah, can I have yeah. it? Okay. He wrote it. Oh, it's an yeah, okay. LA sort of Mexican American sort yeah. of. Yeah, we, we go to like one thirty, right? Most of the time. It's cool. Yeah, usually, but we're about. Be people go watch Mr. Iglesias' show on Netflix. Ten it's on episodes. Netflix now. So watch. Yeah, you can watch all ten episodes now, and uh, you know, let, let me know what you think. Hit me up. On uh, oh, also Jesus Trejo is in it. And yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. boy name. Oh Jesus and what? Uh, Chris Garcia. Chris Garcia. Chris Garcia. Yeah. Also yeah. Uh, Sherry oh, Shepard. Oh, 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 we got Sherry yeah. Shepard. We got we got uh, um, uh, Oscar guy, Nunez. They got the guy. Uh, yeah, Oscar. Oh, and they Oscar got the guy Davis. You can forget about the credence. No, they Richard Gant. Richard Gant, yeah, yeah, yeah. At yeah. first I thought it was Oscar Davis. Maggie Gihas on that. Richard Gant from Big Lebowski. He's, oh, he was a Big Lebowski. He was okay. a cop. Though, I, I know he was. I think he was like Don King. Was he Don King in the Rocky movies? I think so. Yeah. yeah. What's what's He's the guy's good. name? The coach. What's his oh, name? Oh, that's uh, Skip, uh, uh, uh Chris McDonald. Chris McDonald. Yeah, he's great. So it's Sh Shooter McGavin Shooter. from Shooter McGavin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, Shooter McGavin. From ah, from, Happy from, 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 from Happy Gilmore. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, dude, he's yeah. hilarious. Yeah. 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 I gotta tell you, it, it, it is it, it has been the most fun working on this on this show, man. It's, it's got a great cast, and the, and the young cast is is great as well, man. They're, they're really funny. Uh, Cheryl Shepard is cool, man. Sherry Shepard. When, when I auditioned for uh, Sherry Shepard, when I auditioned for the la the comedy store, mm -hmm. it's very political back then. Like, it's Mitzi has to watch you. Okay. But usually, like, if um if you're a comic that nobody likes, let's say you were auditioning and mm -hmm. I, I don't like your ass, okay. bro, I will find a way to sit next to Mitzi to block her from watching you. Uh -huh. And oh. start talking to you. But everybody does it. They don't mean to do it, mm -hmm. but that's the only way they can talk to her. So they start yapping at they her. They never get to see her. They never yeah. get uh -huh. to see her. Well, now she okay. So now that she's here to see comedians, she don't want to talk to comedians, complains, you know. Right. Maybe she, maybe she can get another chance. Yeah. So <laughs> Sherry Shepard sat next to her, mm -hmm. and the late Marilyn Martinez sat next to her. To okay. block these motherfuckers. Oh, really? Oh. So she can focus her, on bro. Felipe. Yeah. Her, so, hell yeah, that was very nice yeah. of them, oh. man. And that's when you got passed. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. I think yeah. women watching, oh, there wow, were Mitzi dude. blocking for yeah. me. You know, bro, <laughs> Sherry is, I, I love her, bro. She's such a giving person, man. Yeah, man. And she cares about, you know, she, she cares about the comedians, bro. She really does. One time she, uh, we were talking, and goes, uh, we were talking about money, and out, out of nowhere, she offered some money. And I go, you need help, Felipe? And I said, I'm good. Wow. I'm probably going to spend it on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but she blew up before you guys yeah, did, and time. she still came back to the club at Yeah, she at still came back yeah. to so karaoke. Yeah. yeah, no, she, she, she's fun, man. She's, uh, she's, she's kind of, she's kind of t she takes over, like she plans all of it. Where we say, hey, we should, <laughs> we, should, we should get together. She's like, okay, I, I'm on it. And she'll send a group text. She's yes, like, that's a woman hey, we got a group you. gift going on. Let's get everybody. Yeah, does she she. Has the it, planner. She, the she planner. is a planner, bro. Shout out to Johnny yeah. Roker right here falling asleep. Trying, <laughs> trying to stick in. <laughs> Sherry Shepard. Yeah, her. Sure. She's good. <laughs> What's up, fool? Where do people find you on uh, social media? Uh, bro, um, you know, I'm, I'm on Instagram, bro. Uh, just Jacob Vargas, man. Uh, I'm verified, so make sure he's got the blue check mark. I'm on Twitter. I'm the Jacob Vargas. And um, uh, you can hit me on, um, on Facebook, bro, but I'm... You know, I'm rarely on Facebook. I kind of people are leaving Facebook yeah. these days. So yeah, are, are they? Is that, is that what's leaving happening? Leaving it to their uncles and aunts and grandparents. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, my, my parents are all about yeah. Facebook right it's now. It's the older oh, like crowd. Like, oh, no, yeah, my my brother's ex old lady. What's her name? Whatever the baby mama. Dude, her her, her her mom has a Facebook, right? 
And she, oh, split, cello? she split cello. <laughs> she split her toenail and put a photo of it, bro. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's, what an atrocity. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the Facebook. They didn't ban it from Facebook? <laughs> that's me, the Facebook me, store. Me <laughs> 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 and then, and then Sam Warner, she was on her period, bro. Oh. She, she posted a video of her, oh. her bloody pants, bro. What? She was in we her thought car. you had a dick. She, no, Ooh. she was in her car. <laughs> and again, what? bro, she was in her car uh-huh. on the way somewhere and white, wearing white pants. And then she started her pivot right there. That and sucks. She, and she started putting it on, t- on her... Um, oh, my God. On, 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 on like Facebook Live? Yeah. Get a man, girl. Live. <laughs> I think I, Alex <laughs> DeLarge sent it to me, right? Huh. And then, like... But then I started reading it. You know, I read everything, bro. And then somebody <laughs> wrote, you did this last week. I think you're a cochina now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this happened to you last, last month. Last week, okay. Oh, I was say last week. It, so it was a Social media don't fuck around, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Twice a month. Yeah, yeah, twice a month. Yeah, some people keep comments. tabs on yeah. you and stuff. The funniest comments I ever heard, man. I know, man. The internet always wins. I do this girl on yeah. social media on um. They always do. On World Star. World Star. And okay. she had like this booty, bro. She, she had she a fake had implants on her oh. butt. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that one? Yeah, yeah. Or it was weird. She 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 disabled her comments because they were going brutal, bro. Oh, really? But on World Star was hilarious, man. What, well, they're making comments on how fake it was? Yeah, yeah was somebody said, some guy said, though? somebody said, girl looked like a wisdom tooth. <laughs> 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 it was this big oh. butt on the side, but it looked weird. She yeah, had a, brutal, she had a, a Yo, weird people, thong yeah, People are suit. brutal, man. <laughs> she gave me a heart on. <laughs> 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 What's up, Jacob Vargas in the house, people? What else? What uh, anything coming out soon um, that you want to tell people Check about that you're working on? Um, yeah, check my MDB. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, um, you what, what I got coming out? Well, I, um, I mean, you can check out. I got a movie called The Public that's that's out on DVD right mm. now. It's like with with Emilio Estevez. Mm. Uh, it's it's you know it's, it's a great film with with a great cast. You know, a great social message about homelessness uh, should be out. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's out now. It just came out on DVD uh, last week, so y- you can check that out. Cool. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of you know. Hanging, <laughs> hanging out, yeah, you know, being a dad, just uh, you know, Fine. spending time with my kids. What's up, yeah, fool? Man. Podcast. Thank you for listening, everybody. Man. Peace. Yeah, right, man. peace. All right.